Hello. Wait, is my mic working? Yes, it is. Okay. Hello. Happy Monday, everybody. How you how you doing? How's it going? <laughs> Hello. Hi, crew. Hello, Osiris. Hello, Toasty. Hello, Gemis. Hello, Nicholas Rage. Hello, Ryugo. I have to say, I have to say, Nicholas Rage's like whole name. I I can't abbreviate that. It needs to be said in its entirety. Hello, Ginger. Hello. Happy beginning of the week. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's probably gonna be like um a pretty a pretty a pretty uh chill stream today. We're playing uh Tales of the Black Forest. Uh and it's definitely more of like a a story based game. Uh story heavy. And there's a lot of um like voice acting involved. But I think honestly, I think I think that's fine. I think I think we're all okay with that. Uh, it's Monday. No scuff stream. When is the last time I had scuff, though? Hello, Phantom. Hello. Hello, Mase. <laughs> yeah. Did your character hair change a bit? No. How could it have changed? It's the same model I always have. Nothing could go wrong in the Black Forest. Just... <laughs> That's the Romans? <laughs> It's time to show your VA talents again. Aw, oh, thank you. No, I just, I just like, I just like reading out, uh, like the character voices, like their dialogue in their own voices. I'm gonna have to remember what I gave, uh, like what voices I gave to those characters. There are like two main ones. Um, I'm gonna have to remember what I did. I, I honestly, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun trying to remember. Um, especially for the folks that, like, watch on YouTube. Like, if they're watching it back-to-back, -back, like, part one and part two. In part one, like, the characters are gonna have one voice, and then in part two, their voices are gonna be entirely different. Hell yeah. There has to be scuff if you're a VTuber. Is that, like, one of the qualifiers to becoming a VTuber? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Kevin. I'm sorry to hear that. Always oh, a challenge remembering their voices. Yes, it is. Time to quickly go watch the VOD before playing the game to get the voices right. I it's really funny because I've considered doing this. I've considered going back and like listening, but then when it when it comes down to it, I forget. The day that I'm supposed to stream the one game where there's like uh where I have to make the voices for the characters, I I forget to go check and I'm just like, alright, well. Time to improvise. I noticed that the uh, wiggly is smaller than others and it makes me love it more. <laughs> yeah, it's because it needs to fit the hat. That's why. <laughs> the the hat can't be fit in if it's uh, if it's full size. Can we go into the hat? If we can go into the hat, can you go into your own hat? Yes, that is the whole purpose of my hat. My hat is uh, a portal. It's a portal to and from the void. It's how I travel. I can't I can't show you. Uh, right now because I'm, you know, I'm streaming, but that is how it works. It might go to minus one here tonight. Anyone have some slightly warming temps? They could. We can't send weather crew. <laughs> Stop. Weather cannot be sent. Weather cannot be sent. Ah. Okay. I forgot how to. Can I be in the jar, please? Yes. Yes, you can. Here you go. Into the jar. <laughs> Hello, Y4. Weather can't be sent, but you can sure send Alfie by asking. <laughs> Hello, Retromancer. Hello. Bonjour. Oh, with that attitude? Okay, well, uh, whenever, whenever crew asks you to send weather or to, uh, uh, take weather away from them, you, you can, you can go ahead and do that for them, because I, I cannot. <laughs> I can, I cannot. As long as you don't drop your glasses in the hat. 
Oh yeah, no, you can't. You, I can't. I will. I will not. I will not drop my glasses in the hat. Um, let's see. Uh, do 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 do. Can you bring planets? I kind of. I can't. I cannot move planets. Do you know how like bad that would be for like uh like any sort of like planetary system? That could fuck so many things up for one planet to just like be moved. I don't know what kind of impact that would have on a solar system, but I'm sure it's not a good it's it it would not be good. Twin turbo twin Turbo Ford Fiesta is the only is only to avoid suspicion caused by teleporting with the hat. <laughs> what? <laughs> thank you, Retro. Thank you. Oh boy, my schedule is set Monday to Wednesday and Friday morning shifts. Tuesday and Thursday off. That's not too bad though. That's not too bad. Like if your job is like reducing your hours because of uh, like injury, I think that's very thoughtful of them. It's only the destruction of the solar system. It will be fine. <laughs> Imagine how long it would take to shovel a planet into the hat. I don't think... See, like, I don't know if my hat could, like, suck up an entire planet. Because it's a portal. It's not a black hole, right? Um, a black hole can probably, like, siphon up entire, like, solar systems and, like, stars and planets and stuff. Um... Because it, like, just completely warps, uh, matter. But my void hat doesn't work like that. It doesn't warp matter or anything. It's literally just the door. So if the thing can't fit through it, it can't fit through it, you know? I can only, I can only enlarge and big in the portal by so much. <laughs> Give it a shot, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Uh, not, I mean, oh, I, I am afraid of the consequences. I am terrified of the consequences. I, okay. How about this? How about the Being a portal in space, by definition, it warps space. Yes, but not the same way that a black hole does, right? Anyone with a fat dumpy can make it through? <laughs> Liz! I'll paint her hat on hurricane defense. I, I could, I could feasibly like, uh, probably teleport a hurricane out into space. Yeah. What would happen if you turn the hat inside out? Um, you know, I haven't tried. I, I think that like on one side, it would literally just look like the portal itself. But on the other side, if you flip it, it's just my hat inside out. That's, that's what it is. Like it's, I think that's all. That's all that would happen, really. Throw the hat into the sea, solve the rising ocean levels. No, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. Great British empires arrive. Long live the queen. Hello, Kala. Hello, hello. <laughs> How you doing? Listen, okay, look. When, when I, uh, I guess train more when i get my powers like up a little bit better like when i learn more magic i'll attempt to put a like planet through my hat to see what happens okay it won't be this solar system because i do not want to be responsible for the entire solar system to uh disappear you know i'll just i'll just go to some other solar system and uh give it a go See what happens. <laughs> Rogue planet that no solar system loves those. <laughs> Bonus points if there's still life on the planet. If you did ours, you'd be doing us all a favor. <laughs> steal Pluto. La NASA doesn't deserve it. I would steal Pluto. Pluto, Pluto deserves to be a planet. Alfina destroys the universe. Hello, Karasu. Hello, Karasu. How you doing? How you doing? Put a portal hole in your hat and then and get a nuclear explosion. No! It's easier to ask forgiveness than it is permission. 
<laughs> Hello, Gobbly. Hello, how you doing? How are you doing? You request to be yeeted. I can do that. Uh, yeeted into the j into jail or just yeeted off screen? Because I can I can I can do one or the other. Oh no! Oh no, Celestis, that sucks. Off into space. There you go. <laughs> You're racing a solar system. Never uh, means never having to say you're sorry. <laughs> hello, Terrence. Hello. <laughs> Destroy the sun for you? We kind of need the sun, though. The sun is important. It is important for many things. It is important for our mental health. It is important for plant life. It is important for animal life. It is important for a lot of things. Fuck the sun. I hate it too hot. Unfortunately, like, okay. Yes, the sun plays a pretty big part in how hot it is. But it's, um... It's, it's kind of our fault that we're feeling the heat <laughs> as much as we are. <laughs> We've fucked our planet royally. Uh, and so we cannot get the proper protection that we need from the solar rays. So that's not the sun's fault. That is our fault. <laughs> Cancel the sun, Twitter, get on that. Oh boy. <sighs> The sun chill. This world fucked. Yup, that's what I'm saying. Can you swap our sun with a different one? I'm pretty sure another sun will be just as hot. People thought about blocking the sun out to combat climate change. That's so dumb because it's not the fucking sun's fault. What? <laughs> that's so stupid. <laughs> the earth is fine. We just fucked ourselves. We? Our? Shifting a lot of blame on me here, lady. Okay, fucking, you're not part of the we then. We are no longer we. Is that what you want to hear? Sightless? What? Oh my god. Called your bluff? <laughs> Didn't know we'd get to see a divorce today. <laughs> Oh boy. No, this is just this is just normal banter between a uh, husband and wife. That's just how we that's just how we fly. It's Wii's fault, Nintendo Wii. No, it, no, the Wii was fine. It's the Wii U. It's the Wii U. Y'all live on Earth? I live on Neptune. No, I live in the void. I live in the void. The void is its entire separate like uh uh plane. The Wii was great. The Wii U, not so much. <laughs> no, there will be there will be no divorce. It is depressing that to fix climate change, we even consider something as absurd as blocking the sun because changing society is even worse. Yeah, it's so silly. Wii U is cool for me. I enjoyed the Wii U. But the Wii U almost fucking like tanked Nintendo entirely. Hello, Deadbeat. Hello, hello. Found you through YouTube shorts. You're so cute and funny. Oh, thank you so much, Holly. Oh, your your name is cute, Holly Jolly. <laughs> I love that. Hello, hello. Welcome to the void. Thank you so much for following. Welcome in. The Wii U walked so the stitch can the stitch. The wit the switch can run. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> she secretly sacrifices us to Jesus. Jesus who? We don't we don't pray to Jesus here. We are we are in the void. We're part we're part of the void cult. I mean, I'm not going to tell you who to who to pray for. You can you can totally have whatever religion you you deem fit. Uh but uh, I, I don't sacrifice anyone to Jesus. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you have a funny joke. What is your funny joke, Felix? You're telling Abigail. Don't tell Abigail. Abigail is actually really nice, though. Abigail is super duper sweet. She's very, uh, she's very understanding. Dirtiest Maximus, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you. How do you find Will Smith in the snow? You follow the Fresh Prince. <laughs> God damn it!
You'll sacrifice yourself to avoid Witch God Alfie? I have a funny joke points at life. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Oh, Celestis. Same brain. Very good. Replace the sun with a metal slide. It has the same heat. <laughs> Why did they ever make metal slides? I'm like thinking about it right now. Why would they ever make slides out of metal? Why would they do that? They must have known that it would fucking heat up under the sun and would like burn every single kid on the playground. Because it's funny. <laughs> have you ever slid down a metal slide? Plastic doesn't. I have slid down so many plastic slides, not a single one like melted. I have never seen a plastic slide melt. The sun, th there's no way the sun can, like, melt a plastic slide. Metal slides are, yeah. To be fair, one of those tube slides fucked up your ankle. Yeah, tube slides are not great. No, <laughs> y'all, none of y'all can tell me not. <laughs> can I be put in the jar? Yeah, you can. Of course you can, Dirty as Maximus. Of course. Here you go. We couldn't use the metal slides in my grade school. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. The sun can't, but my friend with a magnifying glass and some lighter fluid melted a slide. Okay, but like, that is an unnatural slide melting. Okay. That is destruction of property. <laughs> Many have burnt cells on a metal slide and some blood as well. Oh my god. You know what's the worst? Uh, do you remember the slip and slide carpets? Is that what they were called? I can't remember what they were called. I remember that you had like these like, it was like just like a long carpet. And at the end of it, there was like a pool. Like a tiny little mini plastic pool. And um, you had to properly like wet the, 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 the slip and slide because... If you didn't, you got, like, insane, like, insane, uh, rug burn, I guess? I don't know if you'd call it rug burn in that situation. But if you did not properly, like, water it, it would be, uh, very painful. Break your f- <laughs> Yeah, and then, and then there's the issue of if you go too fast, you kind of just- get completely sent over. The burn is part of the experience. <laughs> What's the maximum void link that can fit in the jail? I can pack you all in there. Every single one of you can go into the jar. But the issue is there's always one person that cannot help themselves but to put a bomb in there and explode you all out of jail. That's what happens. There's always that one person. There's always that one person who does it. Right when I'm about to freaking fit you all in the jar, one person does it. Put a sin, Papa Fina. <laughs> I'm the problem, it's me. <laughs> Oh my god, are you singing the Prince of Bel Air theme song? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna try this one time, uh, and then we're gonna play the game, okay? We're gonna try this one time, and then we're gonna play the game. Uh, please don't do this. Okay, there we go. Just one time, just just one time is when I'm doing this. As soon as someone explodes, that that's it. That's it. We're we're playing the game. No! All 
All right. At this point, I don't think everyone's going to ever fit in the jar because there's always one person that does that. Yep. All right. You want to know how to solve it? I, can, I know I can turn off the bombs, but I know I can turn off the bombs, but that is not training their self-restraint Mossy Don. I cannot train their self-restraint if I turn the bomb off. <laughs> you like boom. <laughs> you cannot contain me. I know how to I know how to contain you. I know exactly how to contain you all. Masidan, would you like to do the honors? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, how did Retromancer live? What the heck? All right, well. <laughs> how the heck did Retromancer live? Oh my gosh. All right. The chosen one. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I yeeted you manually. All right. We are hopping over to the game screen. One moment. Uh, da, 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 da. What's the freaking? Oh no, those are tags. I don't want to tag. I want to change the freaking game. I'm. I'm. S there we go. There it is. Hello, DJ. Hello. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Masudan. Thank you. I appreciate it. I wish, I, I genuinely wish, because like on OBS, whenever uh, it's changed from the chat, the OBS category doesn't change. So I don't actually see it. I don't, I don't see it getting changed. But thank you. I appreciate. Let's see here. Let's see. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mossy Don. Thank you. I appreciate it. I always forget Hag is a tag now. Yeah, it has been for a little while. <laughs> it has been for a little while. I think it's a good tag. That's just my opinion. Okay, let me, let me quickly. I don't know if this is going to capture... I might have to do it this way. Yeah, that's how I do it. Okay. We can call you Hag now. Yeah! Alright, can you guys hear this? Yes, you can. You can hear it. Aw, thank you, JVC! Thank you. Okay. We are continuing. Uh, yeah, right here, right here. I'm 132. <laughs> 132 year old hag. That is correct. <laughs> oh, we're doing Valley Girl. Come on. I gotta freaking do some voice acting here. Freaking. All right, hang on. I can't voice act the characters properly if you got me doing these friggin' Valley Girl voice. Alright. Oh, da -dee -doo -dee -doo -doo. <laughs> Summoning the hag? <laughs> you can't... What? I feel like the Valley Girl is like the least hag-ish, you know? I feel like that's the le the one that is the least hag like. Okay. Okay, so we're like totally continuing right now. Um, read column in Kuromori Daily feature on Kuromori Cho gas incident again. No, because we already read it. Are you sure you're not hagging? What do you mean? I don't know what that means. I'm like I'm like. 24 7 like a hag it's not something you can just like turn off so like all 
This is such a comfy space. I wish I could live here. Apparently for like Daruma, uh, when you get one, when you get a Daruma, they like come and like the, uh, like the eyes typically are like white when you first get one. And then when you make a wish, when you make a wish, then you like fill in one of the eyes. And then when the wish is completed, uh, the other eye is gets filled in. At least that's what I've been told. That's what I heard. I don't remember if that's like actually the case, but yeah. Kagami Mochi. Someone please correct me if I'm totally like wrong because that would be super embarrassing. But I'm pretty sure that's what somebody told me. Upside down bed is better though. How do you get an upside down bed? Kyara-chan, good job all this while. Now please get some well-deserved rest. I've sorted out all the rules of Nensha in the notebook. So if you have any questions about Nensha, you may refer to it. Obtained rules of Nensha. One, Nensha can read and restore the memories in electrical appliances and users can freely travel through those memories. Two, the appliances can be used for Nensha need the appliances used for Nensha need to work normally. And number three, Nensha can also be used on other electrical appliances that are working normally in the same area. Oh my God, there's more rules. Oh my God, why are there so many rules? Four, the will of the user will determine the activation and effectiveness of Nensha. Hello, Aces, welcome in. Welcome to the void, I hope you're doing well. Thank you, I'm glad you like my hat. Um, five, electrical appliances applied by Nensha will be moved due to traveling back in time. Six, changes applied by Nensha in the past will also affect the present situation. Oh my God, how many friggin... Wait, there's, what? Nensha users can bring others into Nensha space. The number of people and the time span will affect Nensha's effectiveness. If the pr process of activating Nensha is interrupted, it will have unforeseen consequences. Nensha is incapable of changing death as a fact. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Can I, like, go now? I'm pretty sure we have, like, stuff we need to do. Don't go too far if you want to go out. Okay. It just sounds like a normal temporal cause and effect. Alfie has a lover's face. Thanks. Your model's amazing. All the stars. Oh, no. Don't worry. The person who, like, self-imposed the, like, drinking challenge um, is Mikal. And unfortunately, Mikal uh, uh, does not really join the streams as much anymore because of time zones, you know? I noticed what blurry words written on it. Recently, there are numerous instances of people missing in Kuromori Cho. Residents and tourists are asked to stay away from deserted alleyways. Huh. Okay. The cat is back. Oh my god. It's a black cat I met, I met at Shikanaki Station. Oh, we meet again. Oh my god, the cat can talk. Hello there. You can understand what I'm saying? Thank you, Kawa. Thank you. Yes, because of reasons that are hard to explain. By the way, you seem like you wanted to tell me something when we first met. I'd like to offer you a few drinks because I haven't seen a Komosume-chan as cute as you for a long time. I'm sorry, I couldn't understand your language at that time and I'm not old enough to drink any alcohol yet. Young girls nowadays are so boring. Okay, cat, you're like a freaking creepo. Why does it feel a bit frivolous? Is the cat trying to riz you? I think so. Yeah, I think, I, I don't know, I'm not sure. I, I don't know if the cat is, uh, like, actually a cat. <laughs> it sure is a sentence. <laughs> Did you come to Kuromori Town to sightsee, Nya? I'm going to Kuromori Cho Gekijo. 
Why are you going there, Nya? Because of various reasons, I need to go there. For whatever reason, that place is very dangerous, Nya. There's a lane of the weeping rain in front of Kuramori Chogekijo. Once it rains, the rainwater becomes very toxic and you'll be corroded if you go there now, Nya. Weeping rain. There was a gas attack near Kuromori Chogekijo near three years ago. I remember it was raining at that time. A madman from some religious group ran to the roof of the theater to discharge the poison gas. And then the gas mixed with the rain to fall on passerbys below. A lot of people have died in that attack. And the scene at the time was frightening, ya. Yeah. Although the poisonous gas was cleaned up later... The vengeful ghosts of those innocent victims who died tragically continue to hang around near the theater and make that wailing sound when they were killed by the gas. That strong anguish together with the wailing has become a highly corrosive weeping rain. It's useless even if you take an umbrella, Nya. So, you absolutely mustn't go there until the rain stops, Nya. There's no other way to go to the theater? If you insist, Nya. The owner of the Forest Cat Cafe probably knows the way to avoid being corroded by the weeping rain. Forest Cat Cafe? The owner is a very capable one. She would definitely know a way, Nya. Do you know where that cafe is? I also don't super duper 100% trust this cat, but... It's at the end of that lane. I would all- okay, like the idea of a forest cat cafe does sound really good though. It genuinely really does. I understand. Thank you very much. Komosume-chan, are you sure you don't want to have a drink with me? S sorry it's fine. You look like you have something important to do. I won't force you in that case. Hello, Lamb. Hello. How you doing? Mm, thank you. Seems we all good taste in cafes. I've never been to a cat cafe. It sounds really nice. I'd love to go. Okay, I gotta go to this uh, cat cafe over here. I don't know if I should be bringing um, our friend with us. Wait, that's a... Wait, are... Wait, are those... Okay, some of those look like dogs. <laughs> oh, hell yeah! Ah, uh, we haven't had a customer for a long time. Welcome to Forest Cat Cafe. Excuse me, are you the boss here? I am the waitress. The boss is inside. An old train car. That's wicked. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Isn't it opening hours right now? Business has been very slow lately, so we have been quite idle. We hope you can support our humble establishment if possible. Okay. By the way, does this place have a magical barrier? Yes, ma'am. You are very knowledgeable. After all, the economy is bad right now. So we have to set up a barrier to save on costs. Train is doing super well. Yo, are you the girl from a foreign place? And your fate seems to be taking a heavy toll. Oh, you are the girl from a foreign place. And your fate seems to be taking a heavy toll on you. Sorry, Nya. I didn't mean to peep into your destiny. But I just can't control this pair of spider witch's eyes, which can see the future. Spider witch's eyes? Has it seen too many strange movies? Thank you for the train pet. Thank you. I want to talk to this other cat here. Are you Kumatsu Nanako-san? Kumatsu Nanako? I think that's the artist who's very popular in recent years. Nanako-san, I like your new movie Midnight Ring very much, Nya. Well, um, I'm not Nanako. My name is Kihara Kashin. 
Do Prime subs give you money? I chose the Prime sub because it was free, but I don't know if it gives you money, the streamer, or just a Twitch. I'd rather buy regular means it, uh, if it means it can support you. I still, I still do, I still do get uh, a percentage of the Prime sub. Um, I don't remember what the split is. I don't remember what the split is, but the Prime sub uh, does not count towards because you know how um, how Twitch now has like a. Uh, um, I guess like a, 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 a minimum. Streamers get two fifty for primes. Yeah, okay, it's it's a it's a fifty fifty split. Okay. Um. So like Twitch now for 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 streamers for partnered streamers in order to in order for them to get a seventy thirty split, they need to meet a cap of I believe three hundred and fifty subs, uh monthly like recurring subs uh for like for like three months. And uh, then they can apply to get the 70-30 split. Prime subs do not count towards that. And unfortunately, gifted subs also do not count towards that. It, it explicitly is only like recurring subs for like three months. Three, 350 sub points for three consecutive months. Correct. And it needs to be like recurring ones, not gifted ones, not prime ones. That's, that's how it works. That's how it works. But honestly, I don't want to force anybody to like... To subscribe, I like. I just want you guys to be like, if you want to subscribe or like support, uh, support me. Only do it if you are financially capable. I do not want you to feel pressured to do so. Didn't it get brought down to 50-50 for all the streamers. Um, yes. Uh, except for like the um, the big partners, like the big, big, big streamers that are like bringing in all that Twitch money. Uh. Like, they're, I believe, like, only a few of them have that 70-30 split at the moment. But, yeah. Um, I'm not Nanako. My name is Kihara Kashin. Oh, you look alike, Mia. Then are you a fan of Nanako? Indeed, I've watched a few of Nanako's movies. Wow, I'm so happy, Mia. Okay, okay. Special offer for a limited time today. Caramel macchiato and blueberry mochi ice cream. Oh, that sounds nice. That sounds good. I thought that at renewal, even they would get the 50-52. Uh, nope. I'm pretty sure that was something that was negotiated because, like, the big, the big guys got really, really mad about it. And uh, they fought Twitch for it. Oh, look at look at it's, like, it's a little tortoise. I'm sorry, I, I like completely flubbed that. Welcome to Forest Cat Cafe. What can I get for you? Excuse me, are you the boss of Forest Cat Cafe? I am the waitress at this place. That's what the person at the door said to you, right? Yes. Sorry, she's the boss of this place. That idiot would always pull some silly pranks because she has too much free time on her hands. Yeah, that's that's probably the case, Log. Why do you need to see her? Aces, thank you so much for the follow. Hello, Grid Shifter. Hello, hello. I have a question. Yeah. Wait, who who said that? Was it the other lady outside, or was it this girl? Oh, it was her. What happened? I just dozed off for a while, and my new, my two kittens disappeared. They should come back when they're hungry. This boss likes pranks. I like them already. Chaotic, yes. You're right, but if I'm not with them, they would definitely be scared. With all due respect, they seem rather happy when you were away. Uh, why? They complained a couple of days ago that you had added strange things to their food. That's the cake I was experimenting for that new flavor. But you can't use the products of your failed experiments to feed them either. They aren't poisonous, and it's wasteful to throw them away. Waitress has no chill. <laughs> she just cares about the cats, I'm sure. Forget it. If you're worried, go and find them. 
I'll look after the cafe. When I bump into some weird stranger, I'm not too good at dealing with strangers. If you don't mind, I can help you find your cats. Really? The cat at my home also wandered off quite a number of times, and I had to find it and bring it back all the time. Then I really need to trouble you. By the way, I don't know your name yet. Who puts cake in their food yet? <laughs> my name is Kihara Kashin. Kihara. N nice name. My name is Kinoshita Sakurako. This girl over there, who looks super serious, is Aizawa Makoto. Sorry about that, Kihara-san. My stupid boss has given you so much trouble. Hello, Blob. Hello, how you doing? Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Thank you. Gonna take a sippy. It's going very well. I hope you're doing well too, Blob. So far, we met a perv cat. <laughs> a cool waitress. <laughs> yes, yes. We did. Eh? How could you say that about others? Sakurako-san, in this month alone, you've already spilled coffee on customers twice, spoiled the oven three times, broken five plates, and now you'd still lose your cats. <laughs> Don't forget to help us get closer to the Alfie waifu cup by using code VOIDLING when you get your gamer subs. Oh, they were yeah, that's true. Gamer subs released a new uh, a new flavor uh, today. Um, it's for the um, I believe the the uh, goons podcast. Give me a sec here. I want to get that correct. Uh, do 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 do. It is oh goons yeah. Goons Podcast. They have released a flavor with gamer subs called Grandpa's Ashes. It supposedly tastes like uh, like raspberry uh, raspberry cream. I will uh, I will be able to taste some very very soon. I'm very very excited, and I will let you know if Grandpa's Ashes are worth uh, <laughs> are worth uh, stealing from the urn. <laughs> tastes like Grandpa. <laughs> Yeah, raspberry cream, it does sound good. <laughs> I'll have to check them out, Squee. I'll have to check them out. What if the Alfina flavor is called Voidling Sweat? Oh, no! <laughs> it tastes like raspberry cream. There are currently 12 live streamers with the hag tag currently. Good. Good. We need more hags in the world. <laughs> But yeah, um, it released today, uh, and if you if you purchase it with code Voidling, you get ten percent off, and each uh, tub purchase, uh, any tub purchase of any flavor will get us closer to getting a our very own waifu cup. Eh? Did I do all these? Please be focused when you work. By the way, Sakurako-san, do you know anything about the lane of the sweep of the weeping rain? Kihara-san, you plan to go to the lane of weeping rain? <gasps> Blob, thank you so much for two months. Thank you. So far, so fucking good. You've easily become one of my favorite streamers on this platform. Also, make sure to use code VOIDLING at checkout to help support Alfie and get her that waifu cup. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sir Blob. Thank you. <laughs> really appreciate it. The Goons are a great podcast. The content is everywhere in terms of what they talk about, and they have zero filter. Oh, boy. <laughs> we all plug for her. Oh, you guys are so sweet. You guys are so freaking sweet. It... <sighs> I, I don't think I've ever said this, but like, um, it is the most heartwarming feeling to hear you guys say that, like, I'm your favorite streamer. It is, it's so mind-blowing to me and, like, makes me so freaking happy. I wish I could continue my sub, but University Costs won't let me. I'll still be here cheering my favorite void hag. Yeah, thank you, Mikoto. Thank you. 
I, again, once again, I really don't mind. I totally understand, like, like financial, uh, uh, financial issues. And if I can provide a very comfy place for you to hang out, I really don't, I, it, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. You do not need to subscribe. I appreciate everyone who does. And I also appreciate everyone who just hangs out and, like, vibes with everybody. So, yeah. It's probably because you're just a good streamer. I don't know, just a thought. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Blob. You easily become one of my favorite streamers. It's super cozy here. Thank you. Would love to help you get that waifu cup. Unfortunately for me, shipping costs like twice as much as the gamer subs I would buy. The only sad part is living in, of living in Swiss. Yeah, yeah. Shipping costs are like through the roof right now. It is, it is, it is, it is crazy. Absolutely crazy. You're one of the two streamers I actually tune into every stream when I can. Oh, thank you, Osiris. Thank you. Ah, oh, EU, no, no skipping meals. No friggin' skipping meals. <laughs> thank you, Osiris. <laughs> Other streams are always so overstimulating for me. This one's helped me relax. Thank you, Kala. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Nidhogg. Hello. You seem very comfy and fun. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you, Gobbly. That still makes me happy. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yes. It's said that the Lane of the Weeping Rain has a highly corrosive rain. And I've heard that the owner of the Forest Cat Cafe knows how to avoid the Weeping Rain. I see. When you get my kittens back, I'll tell you how to get across the Lane of Weeping Rain. <laughs> Mikoto. Okay, then I'll set off now. Just a minute, Kiara-san. Please come with me to a place. A place? Where? Kiara-san, you've probably noticed this kind of signpost during your travels. <laughs> hello, Tunnel, hello! Yes, I've seen it before in Shikanaki Village. I lurk a lot during the streams, and I'm trying to be a bit more social in Discord. I hope I can actually get to know you in the community. Well, thank you, Phantom. Thank you. Whatever feels most comfortable for you. That is that is the most important. You got me to play uh, buy Baldur's Gate 3, and I both love and hate you guys for it. <laughs> love because I'm having the time of my life. Hate because it's consuming my life. Yep, that is the grip that Baldur's Gate has on you. It is such a good game. It is such an amazing game. Oh, so, so good. In fact, this signpost serves as the transport hub for Ghost Train. Ghost Train? It is said that during the Meiji period, trains were introduced in Japan. In order to build the railways, people destroyed large tracts of the forest. Masidon, thank you so much for gifting us up to me. Koto, thank you! Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Y4. I have 22 hours and I'm still on Act 1, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 spoilies are, are a big no-no. You get a big slap on the wrist. A big slappy. If you spoil. I'm also still in Act 1. I haven't gotten... Like, I haven't gotten, uh, like, fully into Act 2 yet. Yeah, there's just so much to do. Grasslands and many died as a result. Since then, people who have lived near the railways would often hear the mysterious sounds of trains. <laughs> Spoilies without thinking of oilies. <laughs> Even the trains that ran normally at night would encounter those mysterious trains head on. In fact, they're caused by the restless spirits of those dead animals. Kala, thank you so much for the for gifting two subs. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> but after a long time, the restless spirits' anguish wore out, and they remain on this land permanently by manifesting themselves as trains. I just want to be n right, right, Sir Blob. <laughs> Hence, a large number of trains have formed a special transport network. And the signpost is the hub for the transport network. 
Simply put, this signpost can transport you to other places with that signpost. Bossy done! <laughs> thank you for gifting two more subs, thank you. <laughs> Please, no, no gift sub war. Please, no gift sub war, I'm begging you. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, we get a fast travel system, heck yeah. I see. Those kittens can't get through the barrier I have set up, so they probably run to other places through this signpost. <laughs> we leave the war for the subathon. Yes. <laughs> Does that mean I can find them through the signposts? Right, but I'm still not sure which signpost they have gone. So I'll need to trouble you to find them one by one. This pass is for you. You can use... Please! Grid Shifter, thank you for the five subs. Oh my freaking gosh! Uh, oh, you! <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> the no, no! Turn off the gift sub war. Turn it off. I've been demoted. <laughs> This pass is for you. You can use this pass to activate the transport function, so it will be easier for you to return to Kuromori Town. Although, this pass is for single use, you can use the transport function permanently once it's activated. <laughs> Obtained Ghost Train Pass. Heck yeah! Mm, Sakurako-san, thank you. I should thank you. In fact, I'm not that good at dealing with people, and I don't really like to go to crowded spaces. So, I will have to trouble you to help me get my cats back. Everyone should wait on gifting till tomorrow. Don't gift subs go on sale? I think they do. I don't know how long they go on sale for, though. I haven't really kept track. Do the streamers still get the same amount as the not sale one? I think it's the same split. Yeah, the streamer cut stays the same, yeah. Tomorrow till the end of the month. Ah! There you have it. Ah, right. There were two kittens that ran away. One of them is a white cat, and the other one is a ginger cat. You can ask Aizawa for information on these two kittens. It is easier for you to find them if you know their habits. Split ignored, you get paid what you always get paid. Ah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Mm. Let's go talk to Aizawa since she seems to know information about the cats. Uh, Maneki Neko shaped like Tetero. <laughs> they, they changed the name. I love that. Why does it feel different from the Tetaro in my memories? I think Sakurako-san bought, bought it around the time when Tonari no Tetaro was screened. She bought it at Kuromoricho Gekijo. Sakurako-san said this is a limited edition item and it is worth lots of money. However, it looks like a fake item to me. <laughs> okay. I love these little, like, um, Easter eggs. It's so nice. Kihara-san, sorry to trouble you. If I didn't have to look after the cafe, I would have searched for the cats myself. I heard that Sakurako-san say... I heard Sakurako-san say the business isn't good lately. Sorry. This is Sakurako-san's usual method to attract uh, customers. To put it simply... She would claim the business in the cafe is slow to get sympathy from others. A lot of customers have been deceived like you. Although very few humans would come here, the yokai who live nearby are our regulars, so our business isn't that bleak. That idiot can't do a good job, but would always come up with many strange menu offerings. <laughs> you have an appointment tomorrow, so you gotta head off early. Have a good night. Yeah, no, have a good night, Kala. 
Try to keep Alfie from killing someone, please. I I am non-violent. I do not know what you are implying. I am non-violent. Have a good sleep, Kala. Sleep well. By the way, I'd like to know something about those two cats. Your information might help me find them. What would you like to know about those two cats? Uh, I'd like to know about the white cat. The white cat is called Rin-chan. It loves horror films and is a crazy fan of Komatsu Nanako. Rin-chan likes to collect everything about Komatsu Nanako, like posters, photo albums, and such. Not violent until she explodes us or throws us in the void. <laughs> no! It, it is a comfy spot, what do you mean? Alfie just eats her enemies into her hat and lets them starve to death. I am not that cruel. I am not that cruel. If you find Rin-chan, try to pretend that you like Komatsu Nanako. What would you like to know about those two cats? The ginger cat is called Mochi-chan, and it likes movies on magic, yokai, samurai, and such. Too quiet in here. It has probably watched a lot of this kind of movies, so... It always harbored fantasies of having magical powers. <laughs> some time ago, it said it had even found some strange skull in Shikanaki Village. Maybe it went there. I get it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I hope this information is helpful to you. All right. Cats like movies? Apparently these cats do. Okay, wait. Uh, I will use this. Yes. Fast travel. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, let's go to the... Uh, this one. Tunibio cat. Yeah. Okay, so maybe the cat is around here. Didn't I have a flashlight? Yeah, there it is. That's the chicken. Isn't this where there was like that, uh... The like lady? The ghost lady? I think, it just, it looks like she's gone though. Okay, it doesn't look like the cat is here. Maybe above? Nope. I don't know if I'm supposed to be interacting with like bushes or anything. Uh, 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 uh. Door can't be opened. Mr. Scarecrow, have you seen a cat? I'm looking for a cat. You're here again. By the way, does it feel as if you look more familiar to me than before? I must have remembered it wrongly. Wrong wrongly. Right, if you really want to have someone to talk with you, you can go to the wooden bridge at the end of the village. It's pretty much alive over there. Really? Hang on, I won't fall for that. Forget it then. I'd initially thought of carrying you there. No need, I can hop there myself. Wait, is it actually gonna go? Oh, I got an achievement for talking to the scarecrow. Can I talk to the chicken? Maybe the chicken's gonna give me another achievement. Is your master Matsuyama Masao-san? Your master has some friends. You can look for them. Matsuyama's friends. Friends. They live near the wooden bridge at the end of the village. You can probably make your way there yourself. Yes, thank you. Oh! Completionist complex gave you serotonin. Yeah, I talked to the rooster after chapter one. Now he's going to see some friends. 
Where the frick is that cat? Okay, well, cat isn't here, so... Cat is also not around here. Uh, oh! Cat. Oh, that is absolutely gonna happen, though, Sir Blob. Thank you for the hydrate! Thank you! I'm definitely gonna do try to do a completionist run for Baldur's Gate 3. Um, right now, I'm trying to get all the achievements in Cookie Clicker. <laughs> I'm, uh... If I could just, uh, really quickly tell you, I'm at... Uh, g hang on, hang on. <laughs> it is not a losing battle. I'm so close. I'm at 89%. I have 569 uh, achievements out of 637. I have 89% of the, uh, the achievements in Cookie Clicker. I'm going to get every single one. It's going to happen. Cookie Clicker, enjoy a great passive game. It is fun. I love... I really, really like uh, uh, idle games. It's kind of fun. Last one takes a lot of cookies. What's the last one, Aranis? What achievement does that game have? Cookie Clicker? You have no idea. <laughs> it has so many. I was further than that. Then I lost my browser cookie and I was freed. Oh no. Seeking, hello. Welcome in. This strange skull is blooming with flowers, Nya. Yes, well, Sakurako san is worried about you. You should go back soon. Every achievement, achievement. <laughs> They all don't believe I have magical powers. I don't want to go back, Nya. Actually, you might not believe me either. I also have magical powers. Really, Nya? The animals nearby all know about me. You can ask them if you don't believe me. It's hilarious to me that I mentioned Cookie Clicker in the Discord like an hour ago and had no idea you play it yet. <laughs> The number of cookies needed for the highest chivos is crazy. I was playing from day three up until June, and I was at, I think, around 94%. Uh, I don't, I don't, I honestly don't know. I'm like, I have almost all of the um, legacy upgrades, I think is what it's called. Like, the heavenly upgrades? I don't remember what the name is. But I I have almost all... I think I'm missing, like, maybe five or six. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I could say in the second rarest achievement, because it's not that much of a spoiler, right? Oh my god, yeah. For for Cookie Clicker? For Cookie Clicker? Like, go for it. I, I, I do not care about spoilers in Cookie Clicker. Rainy day fund, bake 100 duo ventilian cookies in one ascension. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. That is, that is, um, definitely one of the, the biggest ones. But honestly, if you just keep, if you just leave it on, get all your upgrades, uh, and keep on upgrading all your shit, and, like, um, have the correct plants in your garden, if you're, um... If you're playing the cookie market, the cookie stock market, if you have the correct pantheons up, you should be good. <laughs> you should be good. Are you winning? I think so. Take some months to get the queen beat. Uh, which one's the queen beat? Because I'm, I'm working on that right now. I think I'm missing like three of the... Uh... Oh, the juicy queen beat? Because I, I got the queen beat in like three days. The queen beat was pretty easy to get. Uh, and I was able... I'm I'm growing the duke-tater at the moment. 
Uh, once that's mature, I'll be able to harvest that. Then there's the juicy queen beet that I'm missing, the shriek bulb that I'm missing, and the ever daisy that I'm missing. I think those are the only ones that I'm missing right now. It sounds like you're going fucking insane. <laughs> yeah. The juicy queen beet, yeah. I'll be getting that, uh, uh, next. Juicy queen beet takes months for people. That's why people have good old safe state method. Uh, it's, it's simpler now that if you follow the wiki, uh, let me see here for garden, ever daisy farm, juicy queen beets. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. let me see. Hardest plant to unlock. They require eight surrounding queen beets and have a very low chance of mutation. Uh, best setup for growing them is three by three rings of queen beets in each corner so that the center of the ring can grow a juicy queen beet. Um... Yeah. I don't know how long it, it, like, lasts, though. But, yeah. Uh, it's, it's a tough one. Hello, Avon! Trying to fix a network issue on their laptop? Oh, no! Okay, is it... I, I'm assuming it's fixed now. I'm assuming it's all fixed now. I can't believe we're talking about freaking cookie clicker, like, meta. Jesus. Uh... If you go back to the coffee house, I can show you. I'm learning this about Cookie Clicker that I never intended or wanted to learn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, RPG Maker. I'll ask the animals first, Nya. Oh, I get to play the furniture! Sorry. Matsuyama's friend is nice and amazing. Just think someone probably gatekeeps Cookie Clicker. <laughs> probably. From math, from the math, I remember it could have taken 11 months of pure trials to get the juicy queen beat. Yeah, but now you can just like follow what the wiki says and then it's like, all right. It, it'll show up eventually. I have become Doggo Porker of Worlds. <laughs> Excuse me, do you know that little girl? That Ojo-san? Of course I know her. Is she amazing? Then you have come to the right person. I know everything that happened around here. Two years ago, if my memory serves me right, I saw hundreds of fox spirits chasing this Ojo-san and trying to kill her. Those fox spirits have the word murder written all over their faces, and they could knock a kitten like you flat with one smack of their palm. But this Ojo-san could actually knock all those fox spirits flat on the ground without breaking a sweat. Isn't that scary? So don't- oh wait, isn't that scary? So don't mess with her. Do you actively click rely on the passive income or run a clicking macro? Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I do passive until I get like golden cookies. Uh, I click on the golden cookies and I try to like combo them up. Because like depending on how quickly your golden cookies respawn, uh, you can get lucky and then get like uh, two buffs at the same time. And then when there's two buffs active, you, tr you try to do the uh, magic spell that... Um, Allows you to get a third golden cookie and occasionally be able to, to get like three buffs going at the same time. And that's when you get the big freaking numbers because then you can start spamming the freaking cookie while you have three buffs active. And like that, that just like really, really bumps up your cookie cooking making. <laughs> How can you afford to stream with all this time in the kitchen making cookies? Uh... It does it passively. <laughs> Golden cookie space granny's overthrowing Cthulhu. <laughs> I gotta talk to the deer now. Excuse me, do you know that human girl? You seen the golden cookies to get 1,000 years of production in 30 seconds? Yeah, exactly! This, con this conversation confuses and frightens me. <laughs> it's okay. Do not fall into the pit that is Cookie Clicker EU. You do not need to. It's an idle game about getting cookies. <laughs> mm 
You mean Kihara-sama? Of course I know her. <laughs> Image of Cthulhu in an apron baking cookies for Alfie and a bunch of voidlings? Oh, I would love that. Does she really have magical powers? Of course, Kihara-sama could do some things humans couldn't. Look at all these blooming flowers. It's all thanks to Kihara-sama's help. Juicy Queen Bean has a 0.1% chance or something to mutate and spawn. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely rough. Cookie Clicker's an endless pitfall where you don't want to delete your cookies. Yup. Artists, <laughs> get on it. <laughs> okay, do I trust her now? Can I, like, go talk to her? I, I think I've spoken to everyone here. Now do you believe me? Kiana sensei I apologize for being rude earlier. Nyah. <laughs> he sounds like a fucking weeb. <laughs> for how long have you been a void witch? I have been a void witch for... A hundred... Over a hundred years. I cannot remember. Over a hundred years, though. Sensei. Getting old, I see. <laughs> That's what the hag tag is for. Your antivirus deleted your browser cookies and it was free and you were freed from their crumbly, gooey clutches. That's why you get the Steam version. Then you can never escape. <laughs> I am beyond a geriatric. I'm 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 friggin' like ancient. I'm ancient, but look at me. Spry and young as ever. That was very creepy, Alfie. What do you mean? What was creepy? This is an intervention? What do you mean? Over a hundred? That's your skin. What's your skincare routine? <laughs> I, wa I, I actually wash my face uh, morning and night and I apply lotion. Over a hundred and still doesn't own a kettle. I do have a kettle. I do have a kettle. I forgot that I had a kettle, but I do have a kettle. <laughs> I do not, I do not siphon anybody's youth. I do not. It's, the thing is that void, the void magic works really weird. Void magic looks super duper weird. Uh, it works super duper weird because it fucks with time and it fucks with how like you age and stuff like that. So if you live in the void, you just might live forever. Kihara Sensei, please teach me how to use your magical powers. <laughs> Cyrus. You should play Amori. I actually did play Amori. That I think that was like the first game that I played uh, on my debut day. <laughs> Fucks with time and space and your void hat can't bend space. Not quite. Not quite. Thank you for the hydrate. I'm going to take a sippy. I think the Omori VOD is on YouTube. I think you can actually see it on YouTube. I can teach you, but before that, you must go back to the coffee house. <laughs> to prevent wrinkles. <laughs> I thought the smooth brain was the secret to looking young. The smooth brain is the secret to keeping your sanity. It's the secret to happiness. <laughs> Smooth out all those brain wrinkles. Get rid of all the day's worries. If your brain is silky smooth, all the bad things just slide right off. That's the secret to a happy brain. <laughs> Cosmic rays beaming constantly from the inside of her clothes gives her eternal youth. That too. That 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 can help. Probably. She just wanted you to know that's a side effect of using void magic. <laughs> Undertaker, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. As a wise man once said, ignorance is bliss. So true. So true. Okay, Kihara Sensei. I love that cat. <laughs> Alright, I need to go find the other the other cat. We 
here's the white cat. Do 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 do. Is the white cat in the city? Oh, there. Well, there's a cat there. I don't know if that's our cat, but it is a cat. Oh, it's a brown cat. That isn't either of the two cats in the coffee house. These are cat footprints. The footprints head off in different directions. If I investigate, I might track down the kitten. Uh, footprints. No, not to the right, downward. Footprints up to the right have some wet mud. They seem to have the smell of rotting aquatic vegetation. Footprints leading downwards have some dirt, and they have a faint coffee smell. Ah! Okay, coffee smell, coffee smell. Uh, Mononoke movie poster. Midnight Ring. I remember Komatsu Nanako was the leading role in that horror movie. But was there a white cat in this poster before? And it looked like a lost one. Did he get into the poster? <clears throat> wow, it is Nanako's poster, and I like her so much. <laughs> it's you, Nya! You really are inside. How did you get inside the poster? I'm a cat spirit, so it's easy for me. By the way, you mustn't tell Mochi-chan. Otherwise, it will definitely keep pestering me to teach it on how to get into the poster, Nya. Uh, Sakurako-chan is quite worried about you. Please go back quickly. Gamering. We are doing that gamer thing. It's so boring to go back, Nya. I have to watch humans indulge us every day when they say nya 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 as if we're idiots. But we can't understand what they're trying to say when they say nya 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 and such. I was hoping you'd have to jump in the poster to go get it. Yeah! By the way, if you can help me tear this poster off, I'll go back. I've collected all the posters of Nanako except this hand-painted limited edition year poster. But my claws are so sharp that I would definitely tear the poster, Nya. Okay, but you have to promise me that you'll go back. No problem, Nya. <laughs> Alright, let's steal the poster. Cool. Uh, back to the coffee shop. Ah, uh, happy place. Kihara-san, Rin-chan and Mochi-chan have already returned. Words can't express how grateful I am to you. Is it really stealing if the place is abandoned? I don't... Is it abandoned? If it is abandoned, then yeah, it's not exactly stealing. But I don't know if it's abandoned, like, fully 100%. I also like cats very much, so I can understand how you must have felt when the cats were lost. By the way, you must be tired after all that traveling. Please help yourself to our coffee house's special coffees and cakes. It will be my treat, so please help yourself. All right. Yeah, cake. Like most cafes, we will also prepare mocha for your for our our valued guests. Wasn't this the town that was flooded for the reservoir? Just in weird yokai limbo. Oh. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you might be right. Kihara-san, you've helped us a lot. If we don't treat you well, this cafe would be too unwelcoming. Sorry for imposing on you. It isn't exactly polite to ask about a guest's affairs, but excuse me for asking this. Why would you want to go to the Lane of the Weeping Rain? Uh, in fact, I came to Kuromori Town because of some inexplicable power. Or, I should say, I got trapped here. 
and I heard there's a way to help me leave this place in Kuromoricho Gekijo. Kihara-san, excuse me for saying this. Kuromoricho Gekijo isn't safe. You shouldn't... Aizawa, you shouldn't interfere with our guest's wishes. Sorry. The coffee is ready. Kihara-san, please enjoy. Let me serve you, Kihara-san. Aizawa, thank you. Kihara-san, the coffee is hot. Please drink it slowly. For a moment, Aizawa-san seems to have cast a weird glance at me. When I'm about to raise the cup, I notice there's a note at the bottom of the cup. It says, Don't drink the coffee. Uh, what's wrong, Kihara-san? Is the coffee not to your liking? Uh, no, not at all. Then don't delay. Try it quickly. This coffee really tastes very good. Kihara-san, drink this cup of coffee and all your problems will be solved. Don't worry, the coffee isn't poison. Kihara-san, where are you going? This power is... Did we get- did we time travel? She has misty step- Oh shit, we're on a train! Never trust anyone who says, don't worry, it's not poisoned. Nicholas Rage, thank you so much for two months. Thank you. Where am I? I'm in the carriage where the gas attack happened three years ago. Uh oh. I can smell something acrid, and my vision is getting blurry. And then a familiar voice is yelling from the right side of the train. Get out of the carriage! Hurry! Oh. Kiritani-san, why are you here? I told you, Nencha likes links our fates together. You can speak now? Yeah, probably because the train has left Kuromori Town and the curse on me is somehow weaker. But it's only temporary. I still can't tell you some of the things that I know. Although, we finally left Kuromori Town... We have to go back to break the curse. By the way, Kihara-chan, why did you come here by invoking Nensha? Well, it's a long story. Ah, Kihara-chan, you would just trust other people that easily once again? Sorry, I just wanted to get out of here as soon as possible. Forget it. Let's activate Nensha and return to Kuromori Town first. Um. Uh, the feather stopped glowing. The notebook didn't mention this. But if you're interrupted while activating Nensha, or you brought too many people with you through Nensha, they might lead to fluctuations. Oh. We have no choice but to wait until the feather regains its power. Before that, let's find a safe place to rest. Hmm. Sorry. Don't sweat it. At least you're safe and sound. Then I'd better go back to the pigeon form as before. Please bring me along with you, Kihara-chan. <laughs> Kihara-chan's pocket is like a heater. Once I go inside, I don't want to come out again. <laughs> Kiritani Yuki joins the team. Yeah, pocket pigeon! The door handle appears to be warped by some great external force and is stained with dried blood. Ah! Good. good. Device that indicates the ventilation conditions in the carriage, and there are some indecipherable numbers on the device. Oh! Shit! Hello? Hello? 
Uh, this should be the toilet Matsuyama-san mentioned. I'm gonna watch the door while you search around for it. Wait, what? Wait, what? What is going on here? Hmm. A strange red liquid is flowing out of the water. Grope around for it? Open the water tank. A mysterious package covered with red liquid is in the tank. It's a bit dirty. I should wash it. I think I think this is like uh, the past, Sir Blob. I think we're like seeing a flashback. I've washed it. The parcel contains two metallic canisters. Oh, these are the people that. Uh... Okay. This one is yours. Do you know what to do? I'll repeat. Step into that carriage and open this canister when the time is right. Simple as that. Will it be painful? It's only through enduring pain for a short while that the Father of Truth will bestow eternal happiness. There's no doubt about it. No more stupid questions. Sorry. Uh-oh. Yeah, these are the these are the terrorists. Damn it. Can't find Matsuyama's keys. Are they left in the toilet? I'll go back to check. If it got around by got found by others, Matsuyasama's identity would be revealed. Mm. Uh a bunch of keys are hanging from the ro rope. I don't know if those are keys. Oh. Matsi Matsuyama's name is written on the keys. Well, okay, I got Matsuyama's keys. Uh, door's locked. I should be able to open the door with the keys I picked up just now. The door is opened. Oh! Is this the bad rain? It's raining in this carriage. This should be the ghost train mentioned in the legends. Ghost train would manifest itself through one's consciousness. Different types of consciousness enables the train carriage carriages to have different scenery. Ghost train probably overlapped with train 135 because of the disruptions when he used Nensha. This took a very sudden dark turn. Don't know what I expected. Yeah, it, it apparently um, is based off of some genuine like historical events. Uh, in Japan, involving a, um, like, a, fana a, a fanatic cult that, like, uh, that caused, like, um, bad things to happen. A signboard with the words, Inari Cat. Hello, sir. Ah, a cute human girl. Is that a cat? I'm Kishijiro. May I know your name, my lovely Ojo-chan? I'm Kihara Kashin. Oh, Kihara-san looks as cute as Fujisaki Chiyoko. Yeah. Fujisaki Chiyoko? Is she a singer? Chiyoko was a very well-known movie star in the 40s, Kihara-chan. I can't believe you don't know her. This is the 90s. How can I possibly know a movie star of that time? By the way, our watermelons are super yummy, Nya. Kiara-san, are you interested in advertising for us, Nya? Advertise? With your poise, I believe our water watermelons will definitely sell really well, Kiara-san. We might even outsell Shikinaki watermelons, Nya. Shikinaki watermelons? I remember Tamasaki-san said before th that the fruits in Shikinaki Village are very famous. Yes, and the Shikinaki watermelon is my target that I want to beat, Nya. Oh, I know. I've come up with a slogan, Nya. How about Idol of the Millennium Kihara-chan's Blast of Sweetness? What do you think? <laughs> I'm not exactly comfortable with the idea of doing an advertisement. 
and the slogan it's really embarrassing what teenager teenager would care about anything beyond 20 years before yeah <laughs> yeah honestly yeah exactly it doesn't show any of kihara chan's amazing qualities at all this won't do elden ring poise damage i can stun her and go for a critical hit <laughs> kitty tani stop fooling around with him we still have important things to do Oh, yeah. Kiara san, give my offer some thought, okay? I'm really sorry. Well, okay. If you ever change your mind, you can look for me anytime, ya. Yeah. Could you please stop ending every sentence with nya nya? <laughs> it's a it's a cat, Sir Blob. They can't help it. Mm. They're they're a little cat person. Device that has a sound of running water. Displays the weather, temperature, and ventilation conditions. Weather, abnormal raining. Oh, is this the corrosive rain? Oh, another cat! Oh, he's so big. When half of the poster tower of the sun is torn off, the bright and warm colors seem as if it would make anyone feel heat from the sun. I actually read about this tower in a textbook. It was built to mark the rise of Japan's economy. Yay, he's a big boy! I love big cats so much. So darn hot. Do not disturb me before the sun sets. Maintenance toolbox. Humans like you shouldn't open just about any box you see, nya. Okay. I just I just wanted it. Although the old poster is covered by vines, the characters are still barely legible. One of one of the must see tourist spots in Kuromoricho. Water of Abundance Shrine. Abnormally high temperatures? What is this? Oh, one of these. One of these! Ah, oh, dang it. Device displays the weather, temperature, abnormal off. Ch climate change cab, yeah. <laughs> this button should turn off, turn on the power. Oh. Oh, she was teleported with us. The humans that love Nanako should get more people to know about Nanako Nya. Kiara sensei did you bring us here? Mm, sort of. Kiara sensei you are awesome! Sleep, sleep. Happy days are coming. The fields are full of melons. The train is flying and beeping. Kids are enjoying themselves like dancing flowers. Ojo-chan, are you interested in this song? Mm. This song was popular in Shikanaki village when I was a kid. At the time, the villagers were so poor they would often skip their meals. Thanks to the gods' blessings, Shikanaki Village enjoyed abundant harvests every year. That's how Shikanaki Village became prosperous. Do you know who that god is? Er, uh, I, I can't remember. I'm old and my memory isn't what it used to be. This song is the only thing I remember. My master used to sing it every day. My master has been dead for decades in the blink of an eye. Oh, you made popcorn. Heck yeah. What kind of popcorn? Do you put flavoring on your popcorn? Another hag. Yep. Kihara-san, what happened just now? Oh, plain with butter. Did Nensha create disruptions because I brought Aizawa-san and two kittens through Nensha? Uh, this is what happened. I see. But don't worry. We can return there when the feather has regained its power. Wait a minute. Kihara-chan, we're not sure whether this person and that Sakurako are in this together. What's this daifuku? Gluttonous, glutinous rice cake that can speak. I'm a pigeon! 
Aizawa-san, what's with that cup of coffee? I'm not really sure what's in the coffee, but it seems anyone who drinks it will lose their memories. Lose their memories? When they lose their memories, Sakurako-san would send them somewhere else. Sakurako-san never told me where, where, they go, where they go or why she's doing this, but she keeps emphasizing I'm doing this for their sakes. Kihara-san, you are very nice and helped us a lot. That's why I told you this secret. If so, why don't you leave the cafe? Sakurako-san took me in, and I love this job. But now that you've done this, would Sakurako-san... She's not an evil person. This is the only thing I know for sure. But now she has another reason to deduct this month's bonus. <laughs> oh, dang, I'm not gonna get a bonus because I didn't tell one of the customers not to... Because I told the customer not to drink the coffee that erases their memories. Nightmare, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Sakurako-san may be clumsy, but she is a very shrewd businesswoman. And even somewhat stingy. She often gave us the cakes that she had failed to make in order to save on cat food expenses. And forced us to play with the customers. My head kept getting stroked by humans until it had almost become bald. Yeah. At least it wasn't poisoned. It wasn't poisoned in, like, the lethal sense, but it was still poisoned in the sense that it fucks with your brain, and that's still kind of fucked up. By the way, Kihara-san, you said just now that we could go back to the year 1998 through Nansha, right? Yep. As far as I know, train 135 was dismantled after the gas attack. The only carriage that hasn't been dismantled was bought by Sakurako-san and converted into a cafe. I guess that refurbished cafe is the carriage with the poison gas. According to the rules of Nensha, which you told me, we can only return to the cafe by activating Nensha in the corresponding carriage. That's to say, the other carriages no longer exist in 1998. It would be dangerous if we activate Nensha at any place we'd like in this train. This is exactly what I'm worried about the most. But the poison gas is still in that carriage. We can't go back there. Lethal sense all the way. No memory means new person. Do you want to lose all your memories? Like, let's say you had a good life, right? Let's say you had a good life. You have really good friends. Uh, you have a really fun family. You have a fantastic job that you really love. You bought yourself a really fantastic house. Like, you got all these things that are happening that are really good. And this lady is just like... Memory erasure. And you forget everything. I don't know. To me, that seems like a not great thing. <laughs> no way, no how. <laughs> Maybe we could try discharging the gas. If my memory serves me right, the train should have a master control switch in the ventilation system near the door. It's pretty high on the horrible list. Yup. That switch controls the ventilation settings in all the carriages. I'd rather just be straight up poisoned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Freaking losing your memories, man. Ugh, God. Mm, then let's check around the door first. I saw Makoto, Rinchan, and Mochi-chan have joined the team. Oh, I got a big old team now. All right. There's some numbers on it. It means locked. Seems someone has locked it, and the door can only be unlocked by a staff card. I do have a key. Hello, Warmaster. Hello, welcome in. Welcome to the void. Good morning. I found a bunch of keys in the toilet earlier, and it has a magnetic card attached to it. Mm, this is a staff card, all right. You seem to know how the setup of the. Tr you seem to know the setup in the train really well, Aizawa-san. I don't know why either, but this place seems familiar to me, and the information about this train just popped into my head. Yeah, welcome in, welcome in. We have folks from all over the world here. But when I tried to recall it, I became confused. Maybe Sakurako-san knows the reason. 
Aizawa-san, don't worry too much about it before we return to her. Look who drank the memory erasure coffee. Yup. Yup. Mm. By the way, would ejecting the gas harm any of the residents living near the railway line? Now the train is in the middle of nowhere, and we won't be passing through any place where people live for some time. How's the stream going? It's pr going pretty good. It's going pretty good. We're playing an RPG Maker game, uh, and it has, it, has, it has a very fun story so far with some very interesting characters. I'm very much enjoying this. Um... The train has the sound of moving parts. There's a number flashing on the screen. This means there's a blockage in the air vent. Oh god, what horrible thing is going to be clogging the air vent? The vent is outside the carriage. We can't get out of the carriage since the train is currently moving. So we have to enter from here if we plan to clear the vent. This entrance looks a bit narrow. Kiara sensei I think I can go through this entrance. Let me clear the duct. Oh, nothing better happen to Mochi-chan. Mochi-chan, the air duct may still have poisonous gas inside and it's dark. Aren't you afraid of the dark? I know I'm just an ordinary timid cat. I can only imitate people who, how people speak in movies and have absurd fantasies. But I'm the only male cat here, Nya. I can't let you girls do such a dangerous job. Mochi-chan, I need to tell you something. I obtained my powers by accident, and there's no way for me to share it with you. However, your courage and determination are stronger than anything. All right! He's, he's just a little kitten, though. He feels, he feels that he needs to protect a, a little child. I think it's, I think it's, it's cute that a little, a little cat is doing that. Toxic masculinity strikes again. <laughs> Mochi-chan, come back to us immediately if you don't feel well. No problem, yeah. Oh, goodness. Face your fears. Oh, oh no. Oh, there's a spider up there. I'm just not going to go over there. Kiara sensei why are you here? Mochi-chan, don't you want to have the spider witch eyes? I've got it. Quickly, come here. Uh, no. You're not Kiara sensei What are you talking about? Of course I'm Kiara sensei Kiara sensei said it before, my courage is my greatest strength. So I don't need the spider witch eyes, you stupid imposter. Hey, no personal attacks on others, even if you aren't falling for it, wretched cat. However, do you think you really have the so-called courage? <laughs> you are just showing off. Don't listen to him, Ginger! Sometimes safe areas are the most dangerous traps. Ah, look at that. It was a spider. Ooh, shit. Oh fuck, I could have sprint. All right, let's uh let's try again. We gotta keep... Okay. I forgot I could sprint. Yeah, I'm gonna try the right. Oh, frick! No, 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 no! Dang it! Okay, I gotta go to where the little, uh... Sometimes safe areas have the traps. Yeah. I have to go where there's the weird wormies. Oh, fuck! Shit! Ugh. Oh, no, 
know it's a dead end. So, it is actually blocked by cobwebs. The vent has been cleared. I need to hurry back. No, 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 Ginger! Oh! Kihara Sensei, mission accomplished! All right, Mochi chan, good job. He passed out because he inhaled the gas. Doesn't look like symptoms of poisoning. Probably because he was too tense and relaxed too suddenly and he passed out. He'll be fine after a bit of rest. Oh, okay, he's just, he was just extremely spooked. It's like when you get like extremely scared after going through a, like a haunted house or something. Yeah, it's the shock, exactly. He's okay. I'm so relieved to hear that. This fool almost scared me to death, Nya. I'll go in first to check if I can activate Nensha after the ventilation process starts, just in case. Please help to take care of Mochi-chan, Aizawa-san. Okay, I'll take them to the carriage we were at before. Okay. Uh, where's the ventilation system? Oh, shit. Okay. Have you found Matsuyama-san's Matsuyama keys? I've searched all over the toilet, but I couldn't find it. Forget it. If we can't find it, others probably can't find it either. So, the plan remains unchanged? I've come up with a new plan. We will split up. First, you will re release the gas, and the gas will spread to the nearby towns through the air vents. I will act when the train arrives at Kuromori Town Station. Do you regret it? No. I'm a bit scared. Seiko, have you ever seen the Father of Truth? How dare they fill these cars with their stinky farts? <laughs> I've only joined for a month and I have never seen him before. I've seen him once, which is unforgettable. You can experience a special type of warmth when you talk to him. It's as if you are in the middle of a snowstorm and are about to freeze to death while climbing a snowy mountain, and the ray of sunlight shines on you. We can see him once we finish this task and bathe in his eternal warmth. Death is just a short sip. <laughs> God damn it, Avon. Thank you for the hundred bits. Thank you. <laughs> God damn it. But... Why do all these innocent people? Innocent. Hello? Are you serious? <laughs> Perfect guess right there. <laughs> Scatter chat, they're attacking. <laughs> do you really think it's society that has put your parents out of work and you failed your exams? No. It's these so-called innocent common people. They are greedy, opportunistic, cold, and vain. But they don't know themselves. No one is more wicked than them. Look, that man who's calling his boss and bowing unctuously is really disgusting. He's holding an elaborately wrapped gift, thinking about how to please his boss, while his colleagues, friends, and family members are also leading their lives the same way in this dog-eat-dog -dog world. Your parents got squeezed out by all these human scum. Does this guy deserve any sympathy? <laughs> Avon Bane of Alfred streams. <laughs> Welcome back, Ginger! Look at that one! She's a student like you, but she's wearing outlandish clothes and listening to music that is like wolves and banshees howling. Oh, this man doesn't like metalheads. This guy's a this guy's a freaking mean person. Freaking judgmental as hell over here. Is a focus of attention amongst Seeking attention of Monk students while you worked hard all day long from early morning to late at night, but got nothing in return. <laughs> Taking out his ang his angie on the workers, fa uh, falling for capitalist propaganda. Yeah, <laughs> he hates on metalheads. Yeah, <laughs> put him in the gas car, Aranis. 
I think he's going to stay in the gas car once he releases the gas. So that's already going to happen. The issue is that he's going to be doing this like... <laughs> he's going to be like doing this and killing innocent people with them. <laughs> Send him to summer camp. <laughs> Hello, Invert Mouse. Hello. Your dreams, your future, all got shattered by this type of human scum. They're mocking you, stepping on you. And the benevolent patriarch of, of Shinri Tengoku is willing to forgive us and allow us to enter the door to happiness. What an honor. Everyone except us should go to hell and taste the retribution they have sh sown for themselves. We don't have much time. Make your decision. My lifelong ideal is to head for the door to happiness, and I will not stop. Totally Toki, hello! Welcome in! Welcome, raiders! Hello, hello! How you doing? Thank you so much for the raid, Toki. I hope you're doing good. What did you do to- Oh, you played Dil Guilty Gear Strive. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. How did it go? Did you kick some butt? Did you kick butt? Hello, raiders. Welcome in. Toki, thank you so much for trusting me with your community. And if you need to get yourself some to drink or something to eat, please do so. It is very, very important to take care of yourself after streaming. You drew your first emote earlier, too. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Heck yeah. That's awesome. We are just playing, uh, we are playing some Tales of the Black Forest right now. <laughs> Needs a Snickers. Yeah, I think so. Masidon, thank you so much for gifting us up to Totally Toki. Thank you. I've met Lovecraft cultists more accepting than you, old man. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Are you okay? Why are you shivering? Is it too cold? Sorry. What did you say? Sorry. She... Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, Frick, she's, aw. Oh. The body's clutching a metallic canister in one hand and there are numerous scab marks around the wrists. Oh no. This girl, this girl might be one of those who started the attack. She looks around my age. Wounds around the wrists. Did she try to commit suicide? She was freaking brainwashed. That's just what cults are, man. Like, just brainwashing, it's, ugh. Blech. The body is holding a deformed gift box tightly. The gift box is an attached note soaked in blood. Oh, don't do this to me! Kumi-kun, I'm sorry. Daddy has been busy with work lately and can't watch your match. This is the baseball cap you wanted so much. Daddy will promise you this. I will attend your finals. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. The body is holding a leaflet in one hand. We ignite your youth and dreams. You are welcome to join us at Chikuho High School Zaro Rock Research Club. Please believe in this. Our goals are just in front of us. No matter how far, we will always be with you. She was joining a club. There's a postcard next to the body. Kazuo, we haven't kept in touch for more than 20 years. When are we going to call the guys from our football team to get together? But everyone is old now and we can't play football. By the way, winter's coming soon. Fish hiding beneath the ice are really tasty. Oops, I ran out of space to write on this postcard. Let's have a nice chat when you come here. Oh my god. What's on the floor? An ice pick? Why the fuck is an ice pick here? Two bodies are holding each other tightly. There's a Kuramori Cho travel guide on the floor. They were just tourists.
Oh, fuck. Is this a boss fight? He's gonna break ice for fishing, yeah. Go to hell, you bastards. Die! Oh, shit. Oh, sh- Okay, let's uh, try that again. I think I need to go around the body. Ah, shit! God damn it! Okay, wait, hang on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you! <laughs> shit! Oh, shit! Let me go! Why? Why did you lie to me? The door of happiness is not true at all. I feel so terrible. Hurry up and let me go, you stupid girl. Kiara-chan, run now! That was close. We almost got caught. Matsuyama's keys dropped in there. We probably don't need them anymore. This guy hated his life and decided to kill everyone in the train cart? No, it's cultist shenanigans, Lamb. Uh, they were trying to... It's a very complicated situation. It's like, it's a cult in which uh, they believe that if they, uh, like, I guess if they, they, like, killed a bunch of people, they could be, like, brought to their new heaven. Yeah, cult of death. Like, it's, it's their salvation, basically. It's, it's weird. Kiara-chan, what's wrong? It seems that girl was tricked to join Shinri Tengoku. Maybe he set off the gas and drank the memory coffee. They cleanse the sinners, yeah. Cult of the False Heaven, yep. For Shinri Tengoku, weak souls are the best prey and the most deadly weapons. Something unfortunate might have happened to that girl in her actual life, so she became very fragile at heart. And Shinri Tengoku seized the opportunity. That Shinri Tengoku member is still inside. We can't go in there. We'd better find Aizawa-san to discuss our next step. All right. Kiana-san, please reconsider my advertisement offer. Nope. I still can't get the maintenance toolbox. All right. Yara-san, can we go back now? To them, they have a righteous violence like a twisted paladin cleansing the world of it, uh, it of its so-called light. Yeah, it pretty much. That's that's pretty much the thought process. We have some issues. I see. Sorry, Mochi-chan and Aizawa-san. You have both helped a lot, but unfortunately. Kihara-san, what's most important is that you are okay. I looked around and came up with a backup plan. Based on what I can see outside the window, we have left Kuromori-chan, and we're at Chikuho Prefectural Park dozens of kilometers away. Now that we can't return by Nensha, we can go back to Kuromori Town by using the normal way. The normal way? Go to the cab. Find the captain and ask him to drive the ghost train back to Kuromori Town train station. The captain of the ghost train is most likely a regular at the cafe, and he might agree. Those simple-minded guys don't know coffee at all. They visit the cafe to pursue Sakurakonya. As long as you tell them Sakurako-san will appreciate that greatly, I'm certain they will be glad to help you. Will that create trouble for Sakurako-san? Look at our predicament. We're here because it's that fool's fault. We should punish her a bit. <laughs> mm, I'm going to find a way to the cab. Uh, 
The door handle is frozen solid. Ah, but I have an ice pick. The ice pick should be able to break off the ice. The ice around the door handle has fallen off. Ice pick is broken. Ah, yes, our trusty one-use ice picks. Oh, what the heck? This is so cute. A round snowman. Oh. The floor is slippery. Oh, it's one of these. Uh, confirm the path first before moving across. Okay. Uh, I want to talk to this cat. Chubby snow cat. Um... Ah. Easy enough. A device that displays the weather temperature and ventilation conditions. Temperature abnormal cold. Door sealed shut by solid ice. Beside the door, you can barely make out the words ca driver cabin. Uh oh. I broke the ice pick just now. Let's find another way to break the ice. Uh, can I change the temperature in here? Is there a way to do that? Nope. Oh! Some of poster in the carriage earlier. Uh, yeah, I, I remember a similar poster, yes. Okay, uh, do, 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 do. was it this one? Nope, that's a fruit poster. Oh! What are you doing there? I can sense magic from the poster. Cat spirits like me are quite sensitive to, to things with magic, Mia. Eh? I heard about cat spirits, but this is the first time I've seen one. May I pet you, cute kitty? Why are you scowling? Seems Rinchan doesn't like to be touched. And it's gross to be touched by a chicken that looks like a white potato, Nya. <laughs> Let's check this poster first. One half of the poster. Yep, uh, I would like this poster, please. Yes. Oop. Have a good night, crew. Sleep well. The sky has turned dark. Is it because I tore the down this poster? Ghost Train is an aggregation of all that consciousness. This poster might have come into being from some kind of powerful consciousness. Maybe we can use this poster to melt the, melt the snow in that carriage. Eh? It's nighttime already after my nap? Yeah. Yeah, enjoy Armored Core. Have fun. Oh, art! Oh, heck yeah, nice. Water's leaking in which carriage? Oh, he left. Okay. All right, uh, this way, this way, down. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, frick. There. The poster I tore off is probably the upper half of this one. Snowman is melted. Oh! What a big cat! Mojo-san, thank you for saving me from the chains. One hundred years ago, a passing traveler created me. I was just a common snowman. I was afraid I would melt and disappear, so I hoped the winter could last as long as possible. The fear of death and the obsession with life finally became snow, which lasted for a hundred years. Even if I'm not afraid to melt anymore, 
The obsession of a hundred years was too strong and couldn't disappear, so it ended up like this. If you hadn't helped, Ojo-san, I would never have freed myself from these chains. Can you tell me your name? My name is Kihara Kashin. Hmm, I will remember this name. I'm leaving then. I'm really eager to see the world after a hundred years. Goodbye. Until we meet again, Kihara-san. Goodbye. Aww. Snow cat. If you encounter difficulties in opening the door, please look for the maintenance staff on duty. Frick, I gotta go find the freaking maintenance cat now. He said he was going to go fix a leak. What's this, Noidiaronia? What's the problem? Seems the pipe is, pipe is leaking, but I'm not good at fixing this, Nya. The maintenance man who is normally in charge of this is on leave, and I'm just a temporary worker, Nya. Hehe, <laughs> actually, I excel in cooking, Nya. <laughs> I can try fixing it if you don't mind. Ojo-chan, do you really know how to fix it? Hello, Sean Man, hello! Kihara-chan is a very helpful and versatile girl, skilled with all sorts of home improvements. Game does a really good job just introducing random-ass characters, making them nice and charming, and then immediately taking them out of the story, right? <laughs> My father is not often at home, so I'm quite adept at fixing things around the house. Okay, then please help me with it, y'all. Press Z to rotate the water pipe. Oh, okay, I understand. Uh. There we go. What's this Bioshock shit? <laughs> I'm just fixing a leak. Problem solved. A nearly smooth brain, that. <laughs> Amazing, ya. Yeah. By the way, what's your name? I'm Kihara Kashin. I'm Dodo. Kihara-san, if you encounter any problems on the train, come to me anytime, ya. Yeah. Dodo, I have a question right now. You need to ask the train captain to drive back. Kihara-san, I love your outlandish ideas, Nya. Actually, it's not impossible. This train can go wherever it wants, Nya. I have a set of lockpicks that can be used to open the door to the cab. Lockpicks? That door has been, hasn't been has been maintained for a long time. The captain is often trapped inside. Oh my god. What? Why don't you fix it? You're the maintenance man. Take it. Consider to thank you for pres... Thank you, Present, for helping me. Would you kindly? <laughs> well then, I'm going back to sleep. It's so easy to feel sleepy in this weather, Nya. Honestly, yeah, like, rainy weather is so... It does make you sleepy. I heard Kihara-san fix the pipes. Awesome, Nya. It's nothing. Yeah, it was overcast, and I didn't see you clearly earlier. Only now do I realize you look like a girl I met before. Around 15 years ago, I saw a girl who looked like you at Kuromori Town Station, but she was older than you, maybe around 20. She was sitting on a chair in the train station with her long black hair that was really so gorgeous that I couldn't help drawing that scene. I don't get sleepy in rainy weather. I run out and enjoy it. Really? It just, it makes me sleepy because it's so comfy, right? As long as it's not like freaking like pouring, like absolutely pouring, but a nice like drizzle. Very nice. Very nice. Kichiro, Kichijiro-san, do you still have that drawing? It's been so long. I'm not sure where I kept it. 
Uh, Kihara-san, you seem quite interested in that drawing. I've been stocking up on thieves tools. This shit goes fast. <laughs> mm. Since you care about it so much, I'll look for it when I get back. Kichijiro-san, thank you very much. Sorry for declining your offer to be your brand ambassador earlier. Don't worry, Kihara-san. It's an honor to be at your service. I feel more guilty. Of course, I would be very grateful if you can be my brand ambassador. Who knows? I might even find that drawing sooner, nya. How about it, Kihara-san? Would you like to be my brand ambassador? I get it now. This is part of your tricks. But it's a good one. I'll try. I'll be really grateful, nya. What should I do? My poster's all hand-drawn, so I only need one portrait of you, Nya. Kiara-san, please take a seat over there. It will only take a while. Um. Are you gonna draw me? To be honest, I'm surprised you're so good at drawing. I'm flattered. In fact, I wanted to become an artist and travel around the world since I was small. But my father asked me to take over the fruit shop after running the business. Decades have passed, Nya. Now I've got my family, and those days when I could draw freely are out of reach for me. But I'm pleased to see my children growing up happily, Nya. I'm almost done. Gonna add a few slogans. Oh, and I can't forget your name. By the way, what do you plan to do in the future, Kiara-san? My father wanted me to be a doctor. Then what do you think about that, Kiara-san? I don't know. If I were younger, I would say, Idiot, you don't even have a goal in life. When that's... Then what's the meaning of life, Nya? But now I won't say that. In my opinion, whether you like what you are currently doing or not, you should do your best in everything that you do. Done! Thank you, Grandpa Cat. Yada, son, I hope you like it. Get the hell out. He drew this? <laughs> Kichijiro's watermelon shaved ice now on sale at Kurumoricho Station. Tastes like heaven. Endorsed exclusively by Kihara Kashin, our beloved shining star at the turn of the century. Oh, that's cute. Kihara chan's sweetly recommended. <laughs> that's adorable. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. This is a shaved ice poster? Hehehe. Hey, hey. Kihara-san, you gave me some inspiration, yeah. You have a special presence on you. It's not as sweet as cherry blossoms or as passionate as roses, but it is as cool as the sea breeze, lightly mixed with salt. It could give tourists a refreshing feeling after they have endured the hot summer weather. Speaking of summer, certainly reminds me of shaved ice. Shaved ice and watermelon and Kihara's son's endorsement. What a perfect combination, ya. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're praising me, but it's rather embarrassing. Haha, -ha, you can't keep you can keep this original copy, Kiraz, Kihara san. I'm going back to prepare an advertisement of materials. You can come to Kiji Kihi blah, 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 Kichijiro's fruit shop at Kurumoricho Station if you would like to know about the drawing and reward. I look forward to your visit, Kihara san. Yes. Oh, we can go back there. We saw the fruit stand when we first uh, started, but it was closed. Kihara-chan, why do you care about that drawing so much? I don't know if it's a coincidence. Now we're in 1995. Fifteen years ago, it was the year 1980, when I wasn't born yet. My family moved to Kuramori Town a few years before I was born, and... Time coincides with that time when Kichijiro-san met that girl. He was on the train back, yeah? <laughs> Won't this mess with time and stuff? Or is that not how our magical yokai powers work? I don't know. We, I, There are definitely time shenanigans happening. Like 100% there are time shenanigans happening. I don't know if it's messing with time, though. And my mother was in her 20s, which matches the age Kichijiro-san described. So you want to confirm whether it's your mother in that drawing? Yeah. 
My father mentioned once about the car accident when I was eight. The car burst into flames by itself. Yeah, it yeah, it might be like a, a memory. Like you you're you're inside a memory fragment probably. My mother and the luggage in the back seat of the car turned to ash in the fire. The most precious memories of my family, including photos of my mother, were gone. Thank you for the hydrate, Masidan. Thank you. And the posture check and the stretch. Thank you. Everybody everybody have a sippy. Uh sit up straight. And what? Have a good stretch. Ooh, ah. Woo. Let's talk about it later when we reach Kuramoricho Station. And now that I've got the lock picks, we can go to the cab. I wonder if that's something I could have, like, missed entirely on if i had not talked to the old man again and i just went straight to the cab i might have like not even seen him you're out of water oh no you gotta get some good night dodo i forgot to call aizawa son and the others oh whoopsie Aizawa-san, I've got the tool to open the door to the cab. Well done. Let's go. It probably would have stopped you before you went to the other train cart. Maybe. I'll be back, but I'm not sure if it'll be before you finish your stream tonight, Althi. Gotta go pick up my friend. He's having car troubles. Oh, heck. Yeah, good luck with that, Ginger. Be safe. All right. I've never used this kind of lockpick. Kiara san, let me try. Or, uh, I don't think that's how locks work, but all right. Ah, yes, the broken lockpick. Nice. father once told me a story. There's a kind of traveling cat which would spend its entire life on a train. They feed on the wind and rain and sleep by listening to the sound of moving trains. They'll become beautiful gemstones when they die and drop onto the railway tracks. Oh, man. This is some comfy freaking, like... ambient rain noise. This is really good. It is said that you can experience the scenery which they have seen with these gemstones. Makoto-chan, say goodnight to Papa. Mama, is Papa asleep? Yes, Papa is asleep. Can't hear it over the sound of you smoothing your brain out. Wow. When will Papa wake up? I'd like him to tell me the story about the traveling cat. Papa said the traveling cats have been seen all kinds of people and scenery. And he also said these stories would make more than an entire lifetime to tell. Makoto-chan, Papa is on a trip with the traveling cat. It's going to take a very long time. A very long time before he can come back. When he comes back, he will definitely tell a lot of stories to Makoto-chan. Really? I want to travel with the traveling cats too. Makoto-chan... father didn't come back home. As for me, I decided to step on the train to look for my story for the stories my father didn't manage to tell me. Oh no, she was one of the Oh no. Callie! 
Hello, Kelly! Welcome, readers! Uh, welcome in! How you doing? <gasps> you were playing Bayonetta! Oh, you were playing Bayonetta! Oh, how was it? How was it? How did, did you have fun? Is this the first time you played Bayonetta, Kelly? Hello, raiders! Welcome in! My name is Alfina. I am a Void Witch, and this here is my Eldritch Cat Triton. He's a super, super good boy who loves pets. Yeah, everybody, please, please give Callie a follow. She kicked butt. Heck yes. Heck yes. Heck yes. I need to finish that game. I still have to finish it. I, I like, I got stuck at some point. Uh, I guess you could say I got gatekept at some point. Like, absolutely, like, bodied at one point in the, uh, in the game. And I just never picked it up again. But yeah, Callie, no. I hope you are having, I hope you had a good stream. If you need to take uh, a break... Uh, get yourself something to eat, something to drink. Please, please, please do so. It's super duper important to take care of yourself after streaming. You played it several times before, but I was doing all the weird chapters this time. Whoa, nice, nice, nice. I have I have never beat it. I really should beat it. I really should go back there and, 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 and beat that. But thank you so much for trusting me with your community, Kelly. Thank you. We're playing an RPG Maker game called uh, Tales of the Black Forest. It's, it's a sad story. It's a little bit horror themed but it's got a very very nice narrative uh and the characters are all very very interesting they're all very fun but yes welcome in everyone next stream and <laughs> maybe 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 yeah all right who are we playing as now who is this i think we're playing a news report recently top trained captain hajino kenji died in a car accident Callie's highly trained professional. <laughs> According to investigation, a child suddenly ran across the road. Agino Kenji tried to avoid the child, crashed into a telephone pole at one side of the road, and sustained severe injuries where he died subsequently. The Hagino family worked on the railways for generations and can be traced back to the Meiji period. It can be said that the Hagino family has, has witnessed how Jap Japanese railways have flourished. But Hagino Kenji-san's abrupt demise in the accident has left his wife and six-year-old daughter behind. And the Hagino family's illust illustrious history may come to an end. I think that might be, uh, like the, the blonde girl who we've been hanging out with. It might be her dad, and this might be her mom. And she completely lost her memory! Hagino Makoto, 24 years old. Kanto University, Master of Engineering and Transportation Engineering, Position Applied, Train Captain. Maybe? I think it is. Nice to meet all of you. My name is... I know, you're Hagino-san, right? We've seen your application. You're not only an honor student at your university, but you're also a beauty. Oh, yuck. Captain, please hire some pretty girls to be our attendants so that our trains will be more attractive. Sorry, I'm applying to be a train captain. Being a train captain is boring. Hagino-san, a beauty like you is ideal for the position as a train attendant. Women always spend a lot of time on their appearance. It would be terrible if it led to train delays. Be quiet, both of you. Agino-san, you might not know me. I'm your father's former colleague. I'm Hase Ichiro. What game is this? Just joined. This is Tales of the Black Forest. It's a, uh, it's an RPG maker game. It is, it's got some horror elements to it, uh, but it's very much a drama based. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it actually, uh, does include or, like, I guess involved some, like, historical, uh, like, events that have happened in Japan in the past. Oh, wait, they, yeah, that's her ad infinitum. <laughs> no wonder this family name Hagino sounds so familiar to me. I didn't know you were Hagino-san's daughter. Please excuse me for being rude just now. I heard Hagino Kenji hit a telephone pole to avoid hitting a pedestrian while driving. What a pity. He left behind such a cute daughter. Disgusting! Stop! 
He used to be the best train captain, and he would die at the foot of a telephone pole. How ironic. What is wrong with these guys? Shut up, you two. Kenji Kun is a good role model. Don't be rude. Excuse me, Hagino-san. Can you tell us why you want to be a train captain? My family has worked in the railways for generations. My grandfather and my father were distinguished train captains. <laughs> Hagino-san, why I didn't... Maybe I didn't make it clear enough. I'm interested to know why you want to be a captain. This question has nothing to do with your family's wishes. My father once told me a story when I was a child, and I liked it very much. It's because of that story that I want to be a train captain, and steer trains to look for all the beautiful scenery around the world. Your father probably told you the story of the traveling cat, am I right? That story is a very interesting fairy tale. But to be honest, the job of a train captain is no fairy tale. Hagino-san, your performance during your internship was excellent. But the position of train captain requires experience. It's like a new train going through a run-in period, and a captain would also need years of experience. Although Kenji-kun is my good friend, I can't take the risk of letting a rookie become a train captain. I see. Thank you for telling me. I haven't, I haven't finished yet. Kenji-kun also started as a train attendant, and advanced step by step until he became a captain. If you are interested, you can work at train 135 as an attendant. Oh no! I believe with your qualifications and abilities, it is only a matter of time before you become a captain. Thank you very much. Hey, hey welcome aboard, Hagino-san. By the way, I can introduce some nice eating places around here to you. If you think we'll take special care of you just because you are a girl, think again. By the way, call the next interviewee over here. Yes, I will work hard. Please guide me well from now on. Good old need experience to do the role. Need the role to get experience. Yep. Love it. Staff card on the table. Hagino Makoto. 24 years old. Trained 135 attendant. Oh, uh, we're going to find out that she died on this train. Oh, no! It doesn't need to be sorted out. The hat, maybe? I've put on my hat nicely. Oh... There's candles all over this. Ma'am, please keep away from the control panel. Sorry. Sir, I need to ask for a favor. Return to Kuramori Cho. It's hard. Um, we're Sakurako-san's friends. If you help us, Sakurako-san will appreciate that. Sakurako-san? Oh, on second thought, it's not really hard. We don't have that many passengers on this train anyway. Yes, thank you very much. Meow, I thought he would jump in excitement upon hearing Sakurako-san's name. Don't tell me he's not courting that stupid Sakurako. What's it, the candles? I'm not sure. Looking for college graduate developer with 10 years of experience. <laughs> yeah... I'm about to change direction. Hold on tight. We're expected to arrive at Kuramoricho Station in 10 minutes. Please don't run about until we reach Kuramoricho Station. Yes. Uh, yes. I need to remember the voices. A journey of spiritual cleansing, Sukihara Hirosumi. This age is in a period of decay. Men are bowing and forcing a smile for that stench of money. Women are wearing outlandish clothes and putting on airs in front of their resplendent mirrors. This age is in a period of decline. 
Enterprises are using their employees by treating flesh and blood as screws, bones as gears, and throwing enthusiasm into the boilers. To burn, create, and power vehicles which belt black smoke and crush all ideals and beliefs. Utopia. It is the pure land of this era. The heaven which is full of happiness and the fertile land for freedom and humanity. Get rid of your desires and seek inner peace. The door to happiness in Utopia is right here. Sugihara Hiro Sumi. That name rings a bell. There's a note in the book. By the will of Shinri Tengoku, this mission is to purify the world of all foolish and backward souls. The specific place and time will be decided by Matsuyama-san. Burn this message after reading it. When the mission is complete, the door of happiness will open for you. Obtain the mysterious note in the book. Okay. All right, clues on the combination number. Oh! No, I will not burn that. I feel like if I burn that, it's... Oh, I don't know if I should burn it. Should I burn it? I guess I should? Is the copy person destroying memories to send to the cult? I, I don't think so. I think it's completely unrelated. Oh, the words on the note disappear and reveal mysterious patterns. Obtain the second mysterious note in the book. What the heck does this mean? Gear. Huh? You can read the note and the menu items. What? Oh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh... Oh, one, three, five. One, three, five. There's a letter in the box. Yamada-san, I've received your letter. Sorry to hear that you just got divorced. Hope you are not depressed over it. <laughs> That's a hell of a letter to write to someone. The greedy capitalists have sinned by failing to recognize your talents. Those psychophantic colleagues and your gold-digging wife who laughed at you will get the retribution. The last time we met, you told me about your experience when you climbed Mount Fuji. I could tell you you are brave, strong-minded, forward-looking, and also reli a reliable person. Now, I have a great plan, and you are the perfect person to help me carry it out. They say Kuramoricho is uncivilized to this day. The people who live here are like barbarians. They worship the primitive and cruel, unorthodox deity to satisfy their needs and desires. I hope you can go to Kuromoricho and use the light of truth to cleanse that place of filth. You got divorced? I hope you're not too sad, bro. <laughs> God. When the task is complete, I will personally open the door to happiness and welcome you with open arms. Tsukihara Hirosumi. I'm Imaginary, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the void. Enjoy your stay. I remember. Sugihara Hirosumi is the founder of Shinri Tengoku. Ghost face mask on the note is all I can look at. My <laughs> see anyone else see that? I, I did notice that. I did notice that, yeah. But why is this letter here? Ah! Uh... No! It's a cat's body! The journey is over. 
Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! A suspected gas leak of an unidentified nature is in carriage one. We have activated emergency measures to stop the gas from spreading. All passengers, please do not panic and proceed towards the green emergency lights to leave the train. Uh-oh. Oh, fucking... Why are the spiders back? What the frick? What the hell? Oh, shit, shit! You might be in trouble. Oh, there's that good, good rain again. The first time I saw Hagino-san. Uh, I don't know who's talking. She was dressed in a gray suit in a perfectly neat manner. She was sitting on up on the chair, clutching one corner of her clothes. She looked a bit nervous. She said, I want to be a train captain. The people around me burst into laughter. How could a girl become a train captain? Her eyes didn't waver in front of all that doubt and ridicule. Oh, it's the it's the dude. I have seen the same expression in her father's eyes. She stepped into train 135 with that determined look and became an attendant. It wasn't what she wanted, but she did much better than anyone else. The train will arrive at Kuromori Choch station shortly. The passengers at the the passengers at the platform haven't been evacuated. We have to lock the air vents in carriage one so the gas doesn't spread. But we haven't checked whether there are survivors in the carriage. Carriage one is a moving gas tank now. If we don't shut the vents, the residents along the railway and the passengers at the station could be in danger. Hagino kun, this matter will have nothing to do with you. I will take all the responsibility. The train is coming to Kuromoricho Station. I'm going to issue the warning. Hagiro-kun, stay here and evacuate the passengers to a safe area when the train arrives. Hmm. She was shaking, but her eyes didn't waver. She remained at her post until the last passenger had left. Ma'am, please get out of here quickly. Go to hell. Everyone should go to hell. <laughs> Open the door. <gasps> it was her blood on the door. Hello, psycho chick. Hello. Why? Why do girls like you always get in my way? So she, she died and the cat cafe owner lady probably took her in. When we found Hagino-san, she was holding the deformed door handle tightly in her arms. In the face of danger, Hagino Makoto-san was as brave as her father Hagino Kenji-san. Their names will shine brightly forever and guide the train into moving forward like the Big Dipper. May her noble, noble soul rest in peace. Now I know why this train felt so familiar to me when I stepped into it. I remember everything. Sakurako-san gave me that cup of coffee. Perhaps Sakurako-san didn't want you to remember those painful memories. I don't blame her. On the contrary, I appreciate it. The days I've spent in the cafe are the happiest moments in my short life. 
Gyara-san, thank you. This adventure helped me to find out where I belong. There's so much happening that I don't understand because I haven't been here long. Yeah, it, it's it's a story that is that is kind of very in depth for sure. I was born in a family who worked on the railways for generations. I spent my whole life chasing trains and would finally die on a train. I'm destined to lead a wandering life since the train is where I should belong. Aizawa-san, you mean? I will continue with my travels, listen to the stories I've never heard when I was alive, and enjoy the beautiful scenery along the way. This is my lifelong dream, and I want to realize it. But... Kihara-san, I know. If I go back to the cafe to say goodbye to Sakurako-san, the things over there would only make me give up on the idea of traveling around. Having coffee with Sakurako-san and watching movies with Rin-chan and Mochi-chan are wonderful memories for me. But the cafe is just a rest stop, not a destination. Kihara-san, I believe the trains bring separation and reunion. We will meet again if fate allows it. Aizawa-san gave me a transparent gemstone, stepped into the ghost train, and disappeared in the rain. The feather is shining brightly. Oh, man. Sakurako-san. Uh, sorry. Aizawa-san. Hmm. I know. Aizawa-san left behind the stone before she left. It's a Tabineko stone. Tabineko. Aizawa-san told me about the tales of the traveling cat. According to the story, there's a type of traveling cat which spends its life on a train. When they die, they will become beautiful gemstones and drop on the train tracks. You can see what they have experienced in their lifetime through these stones. Thus, Aizawa-san was determined to be a train captain. She was so obsessed with, th with it that her soul didn't disappear after she died. When I found her in the carriage, she had huddled up just like a shivering kitty in the rain. I gave her a new name and identity to allow her to move forward and forget her past. I was too selfish. I thought, by doing it this way, she would stay with me and live happily with a different identity. But magic to make someone lose their memories would lose its effectiveness, and she never gave up on her lifelong dream. Hey, welcome back, Ginger! Oh, heck, transmission problems? Yeah. That sucks. She was like a kitten who loved to travel freely. But this time, she probably won't come back. I believe Aizawa-san's soul didn't disappear. Aizawa-san's lifelong ambition isn't the train, but the unknown journey in which the train embarks on. The moment she stepped on the train, it's not the end of her existence as a wandering soul, but the beginning of a new journey. I believe Aizawa-san is enjoying the scenery in her journey somewhere in this world. She said before that we will meet again someday, fate allows it. She will definitely be back. I see. In that case, I will wait for her to come back. She's lost like a kitten. She's like a lost kitten who has finally found the train, heading towards that fairy tale kingdom. just finished chapter two the stone being given reminds me of the moon rainbow butterfly gems that let travelers go to where they wish to be the most and from a different train story oh oh the cats no kiara sensei i'm okay now nya oh good ginger aizawa is gone and there's no one to watch horror movies with me in the future nya 
I'll watch horror movies with you! News article has turned yellow. Report on the gas attack on train 135. After a series of investigations, the suspects in the gas attack on train 135 are Shinri Tengoku members Yamada Takashi, 34-year-old, unemployed, and Tanako Reiko, name changed as a minor, 17 years old, student. It's a cat! Yeah, it's a little cat. This game is really good, and it, yeah, it is really sad. The music is amazing too, Sir Blob. Based on the keys and staff card left at the crime scene, police believe Matsuyama Masao, station master of Shikanaki Station, might be the one, might be one of the planners behind the gas attack. Police rushed to Matsuyama residence, but he had already hanged himself by the time the police arrived. Cray Dice, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome to the void. I hope you enjoy your stay. In light of the fact that one of the suspects is a student, Onbusho, Japan's Ministry of Education, has requested every school to strengthen the psychological intervention measures among students to prevent similar tragedies from happening again. A 24-year-old train attendant in train 135, Hagino Makoto, used her body to block a murderous fanatic and prevented further casualties, which is a moving act of heroism. The part where the captain of train 135, Hase Ichiro, turned off the ventilation system in carriage 1 remains controversial. Expert analyst analysts mentioned that Hase Ichiro's decision saved the residents along the railway, but detractors felt that his action directly led to the deaths of the victims in carriage 1. At present, Hase Ichiro had already resigned and will cooperate with investigators working on Train 135 incident. For more information, please read a copy of Kuramoricho Daily. Damn. Kuramori train station. Yeah, this 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 game hits pretty hard. Kiara san, you must have a lot of questions after having gone through so much. Hmm. Because I have my reasons, I can only tell you part of the truth. I also hope you won't ask further, since it is truly difficult for me to tell you about it. After all, if you know too much, you might feel more troubled instead. Now your feels, yeah. You are eager to know the story behind that cup of coffee, right? It started from Kuramoricho Gekijo. You probably already know about the gas attack at Kuramoricho Gekijo. After the gas attack, the theater was abandoned, and there are a lot of restless spirits and yokai inside. It is said that there are also people from, from some religion who hold strange rituals inside. The residents at Kuramori Town have already regarded the theaters as an evil place. However, numerous tourists from miles away would still go there to satisfy their curiosity. Remember when we were talking to Cookie Clicker? Can we, like, go back to that? <laughs> sure thing. We'll, we'll go back to that as soon as we are, we're done here. Kuramoricho is my hometown, and the place Aizawa guarded with her life. I don't wish to see more tragedies around here. That's why I tried various ways to stop people from going near that theater. That coffee didn't have any side effects. Those who drank it would just forget what happened in Kuramori Town after they drank the coffee. When they passed out after drinking it, I would take them to a safe place. I see. Sorry. I treated you as that type of people initially. After all, there are a lot of students who would venture to Kuramoricho Gekijo like you. The youngsters nowadays are way too curious. I should go to show your cookie clicker game. <laughs> I wanted to send you back, but from how it looks right now, the curse on you is far beyond my abilities. Sakurako-san, do you know the source of the curse on me? At first, I shouldn't tell you the deity's name. But it's the key to break the curse. It's Hoshin, God of Abundance. This is the root of the curse. Hoshin. Hoshin is the deity of wor worshipped by people in Shikanaki Village, and he can call the wind and rain. He is more powerful than the deity Eko-sama, Shikanaki Village worshipped more than a hundred years ago. At the same time, he is also an awe-inspiring spiritual deity and his power comes from the devout calls of his followers. If anyone calls his name without thinking, 
there's definitely a price to pay. So I can't say too much about him. I get it. Sakurako-san, one more question. You looked a bit strange back then when I activated Nensha in the cafe. You seemed to know about something, know something about Nensha. Well, I know someone else who can use Nensha, but I made a promise to her that I will help her to keep it a secret. But maybe when the time is right, she will tell you everything. By the way, Kihara-san, I should tell you how to enter the lane of the Weeping Rain as agreed. Here's a pearl. When you carry it with you, you can enter the lane of Weeping Rain safely. I think it's Bird Friend, yeah. Remember when you said this this was going to be a relaxing stream? <laughs> well, it's definitely not as high energy as like uh, my other ones, that's for sure. Mm, thank you, Sakurako-san. Obtained the pearl. Rin-chan, Mochi-chan, where do you plan to go after this? Now that Aizawa's gone, I should protect the cafe. Yeah, you're so clumsy, but it's a good idea to go back to the cafe. Thank you. In that case, Kihara-san, all the best to you. How can it be high energy when we're too busy being fucking sad? <laughs> yeah. You are welcome to stop by at the cafe if you are tired. Mm. <sighs> I wonder who was that person who used Nensha that Sakurako-san mentioned. Since Sakurako-san that person didn't want to be identified, just forget it. I think it might be her, yeah. Kichijiro's store seems to be at Kuramori train station. Let's ask him about that drawing first. Hello, Star Jeffrey. Hello. Welcome in. Oh, man. I, I love me a good emotional RPG maker game. Freaking, um... Oh, my God. Uh, what's the other one? The freaking uh, To the Moon. To the Moon is another one that is super duper emotional and like, oh, gut wrenching. It just makes me cry, but it's so freaking beautiful. The music has no right to be this good, right? It's so freaking beautiful. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna close this and we can like listen to some like uh, happy music, okay? <laughs> Let's swap over. Let's swap over. Uh. All right, let's bring you guys out of the hut. Oh, feels gone back to madness. <laughs> I haven't played to the moon. I'm scared because I know I'll cry my fucking eyes out. I bawled. I freaking bawled. I cried so freaking hard playing that game. Oh, man. To the Moon is so good. I did not... Because, like, there's three games out right now in the series. There's To the Moon. There was... No, there's four games now. Now. I think there's a bird story that's, like, a prequel. And then there's another story that's after To the Moon. I can't remember what it's called. And there's another story. I need to... I, I really need to, uh... I really need to, like, get caught up on that. I gotta get caught up on that. It's such a good series. It's a really, really freaking good series, and I need to I need to get on that. Alright. Let's see here. Who have we got that we can say hello to today? Uh Let's see. Who's someone that we haven't raided uh, in a while or before? Thank you, Grid Shifter. Thank you. Not now. Show us your cookie clicker madness. Okay, do you guys actually want to see? Do you guys actually want to see cookie my cookie clicker like right now? Yes. <laughs> 
Okay, all right, all right. Hang on, I'm swapping you. I'm swapping us back over. <laughs> I'm swapping us back over so that you can look at the cookies. Uh, boo, 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 boo. Let me just boot it up here. <laughs> all right, I will have you witness my cookies. Let me just do this here. Close that. Cookie clicker. Oh, I can't do that one. I got to do a window capture. Does that work? No, it doesn't work. Okay. Properties. Cookie clicker. Hang on. I'm trying to get it to work. Ah! <laughs> Look! Witness my cookies! Uh, I currently have a... Am I... <laughs> Um, so, as you can see, I have, I'm trying to get the, cause like, the, the final, the final achievement for the cursor one is to get like a thousand, uh, get to like a, the, the, the level a thousand cursor upgrade. Um, I'm gonna hide Triton here. My, I think the, uh, these last few ones here, I think the last upgrade is like either 650 or 700 so i'm trying to i'm trying to get these ones to like 700 i think uh this is downright scary can we go back to that <laughs> okay i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna show you guys my uh my um stats here <laughs> My legacy was started 81 days ago. I I have been playing this for two and a half months. <laughs> uh all time 12.6 novem decillion. Get a addiction. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I I currently have all of these. My dragon. Tra this is my prestige level. This is my prestige level. Uh, look at my upgrade. I'm missing prestige upgrades unlocked. Oh, I guess I'm missing ten upgrades right now. Okay, I guess it's ten upgrades that I'm missing. I'm close though. I'm very close. Uh. And these are all my upgrades. <laughs> these are all my cookies. And these are all my achievements. <laughs> I I am at rank uh, uh, 23 milk for 550 achievements. Uh, and... Like you can see here, these are my achievements that I'm still missing. Um, uh, let's see here. Yeah, the, I have one last cursor uh, thing to get. Nine hundred cursors. Uh, how many hours? Uh, six hundred twenty-six hours. <laughs> And that's that's in like two and a half months. That's in two and a half months. Six hundred and twenty-six hours. It's a background thing mostly. Yeah, I just leave it on. I just leave it on. Uh, yeah, these are all my achievements. Uh, oh, I got four hidden achievements. I have uh, God Complex. Uh, name yourself Orte. I had to. I looked that one up. I looked that one up. Uh, speed baking, get to 1 million cookies baked in 35 minutes. That one wasn't too hard. Shape your clones to resemble grandmas. That wasn't too hard either. 
Uh, and then, uh, just plain lucky, you have a one chance in one million every second of earning this achievement. That's something that you just, like, get. So, yeah. I need to look up the other shadow achievements, but the other shadow achievements do not help towards getting, uh, milk. So... You got the never click achievement? Uh, da -da -da -da. no, I did not get the never click achievement yet. I got, um, let me see. Where's the speed clicking? There was a speed clicking one. I got the uncanny clicker. I don't know. Uh, I, I still need to get to the, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> this achievement is literally just click this achievement slot. I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the never click uh, when I do a new ascension because I won't be like just a new legacy or a new ascension or whatever. I'd have to I have I'd have to start a new game in order to get the never click because I I didn't do it from the get go. Hello, Retromancer. Hello. But yeah, look at that. I'm very proud of my cookies. I think I got almost all the stock market ones. Yeah. Make your first stock market profit. Own at least 100 of every stock market good. Own at least 500. Own at least 1,000 of a stock stock market good. Make a day of CPS. Spend a day of CPS. Uh, click per second. Uh, I think these two is basically like uh, getting every single building. Uh, oh no, you're totally fine, Retro. I forgot what name you needed to have to enable cheats on the left side of the screen. Um, I don't know. I do not know. I'm tr I am I don't want to do anything with cheats yet. I fear no man, but that thing looks at Alfie. It scared me. <laughs> Alfina is Mrs. Christie. <laughs> I got I got the uh, I got this one. Name yourself Orte. Oh, it, I guess. Uh, Oh, I guess this is the one. This is the one that does the, the cheat. But this says usurpers incur a minus one percent click per sec cookie per second penalty until they rename themselves something else. I think this is the one uh, that you're talking about. I don't know if it enables cheats. It looks like it gives you a penalty. But I just did it for the shadow achievement. But yeah! Right now, uh... My uh, Duke Tater is going to be mature in about four hours. I'm going to be asleep by then. Uh, so I'm probably going to turn... I'm going to turn off my computer and I will see... Uh, Orte's Game Creator. There's another name that enables cheats. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, I'm going to turn off my computer tonight. Because uh, I don't want it to expire. Uh, before I get to harvest it. So I'm probably only going to be able to harvest it tomorrow when I come back from work. But yeah, this is where I'm at. This is where I'm at. Uh, this is the current amount of cookies I have. I've been on this run for 16 days. Um, and I've been following a guide. And uh, in order to, to get like uh, where I need to be, I need to wait until I'm at like 23... Whatever the fuck this name is. So this is 100,000, a million, billion... Quadrillion, quadrillion, I guess. So I need to be at like 23 quadrillion. Thank you for the head pat. Thank you. You found the name. I'm gonna have to look up all the other shadow achievements. I might, I might just do the shadow achievements like at the end, because they don't like the shadow achievements. Genuinely, just do not do anything to help you towards like um. Uh, whatever, like, milk and stuff like that. I don't even know if there's, like, more milk that I can get. It looks worse than most gacha games in making you addicted. <laughs> yeah, have a good night, Avon. Have a good night. <laughs> cookie clicker stream. People just wanted to see where I was at in my cookies. Um, there's also an achievement... Uh, to level up all of the, like, all of your, uh, your buildings to, like, uh, uh, 10. With the sugar lumps and stuff. Don't do the dev tools one. It destroys the account. The account. Okay, I will not do that one. But yeah. So I got my garden level 10. Uh, 
The other ones are mostly like level one, but I need I need to level them up. I, I gotta level all of them up. But yeah, that's where I'm at. Those are my cookies. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> that's what I do on my downtime. I play cookies. Let's go see who we can raid today. Let's go see who we can raid. I've, ha I've had enough of freaking outing myself as a freaking cookie clicker fanatic, all right? This is embarrassing. Uh, who do we got here? Who do we got? Oh! Oh, I haven't raided Olivia in, like, forever. Uh, what the hell? Wait. Olivia has been going for 12 hours? Oh my freaking god. Okay. We're gonna go support Olivia. She's playing Halo, the Master Chief Collection, for the first time. Um, let's go say hello to Olivia. <laughs> let's go say hi to Olivia. She's been going for 12 hours playing Halo. <laughs> oh, Olivia. But yeah, thank you so much for coming, everybody. I had a freaking blast. This game is so good. I, I hope to finish it. Uh, I don't know how many chapters there are, but I'm hoping that we can finish it uh, next time we stream. Uh, I will be seeing you all on Wednesday. Wednesday, we're actually going to be playing Dusk. It has been recommended to me. I'm very excited to play Dusk. So I will see you all on Wednesday for the Dusk stream. There's also... Oh, right. Uh, we are picking the movie. We are picking the movie that we're going to be watching on uh, Saturday uh, in the Discord this weekend. So join the Discord. Come watch a movie with us on Saturday. Uh, that's about it. But yeah, I will see you all Wednesday. Have a great night. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Bye-bye. Oh,